Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, to OTK Game Day. We are here uh, for a very exciting game today. It is I. I'm Coach S fan, and I'm here joined by Wake. I think Wake. Wake Wilder is here. He, I haven't Wake. I haven't seen you for a few days. I'm here. Uh, I'm here from the field, and I don't see anyone here yet as well. So I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Wake. What's going on, man? Fucking fucking. What's not going on, man? I mean, fucking well, riding I high. I feel like I am fucking the sun right now, S fan. I have not been on a higher cloud. How are you doing, man? I'm I'm doing okay. great. It's good to see you. You're obviously very excited. Uh, like I said, I'm here waiting okay. for the game to happen, uh, but I, I see nobody here yet. So uh, that's kind of where we are. Anyone who's ever tried to tell you there's no money in crypto zoo has not commanded an audience of 13 year olds man let me fucking tell you a thing or two well My see guy. that's that's a huge problem you know and, and i don't mean to get political here uh while we're out here waiting for the game to start but i do the, think hey, we have no, a massive how about that problem volleyball? how about that volleyball you ever hear about that that Volley sport We got an yes. exciting game. Let me tell you something. I've been running my way through the lower bracket of the Japanese V League, and I am a big impartial fan of the sport. Real question tonight, who's going to be our Libero, our Lil Bro? Yes. Who knows? That's a big defensive position here. And Esfin, I did not say liberal. We don't have to be mad at them. Okay? Well, uh, listen, I, I, it's it's been a big problem for me. You know, the liberals are trying to take our damn jobs. I say there's a huge, huge problem. There's a huge problem with kids not being able to find jobs these days. And you're talking about 13 year olds. We need to give these kids jobs. You know, we need to give them the opportunity to make some money. That's the damn well, problem. That, and that's what my whole mission mm -hmm. was with CryptoZoo. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, people called me a fraud. They called me a liar. And what they didn't see was the genius behind it in that what happens when you open up the workforce to as many people as possible, because you know what it is, it's called ageism, reverse ageism. Mm -hmm, when you start mm -hmm. disparaging youth, they're mm -hmm. capable of working as fan. And I've been saying this for fucking years, man. Um, um, oh, and that is on frame. Um, what so was anyway, that? Um, uh, I, um, I've been, um, I'm into baking. Um, as fan, what do you yes. think? Are uh, what, 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 who do you think we're looking out for today? Who do you think is going to really take the reins of the big game? Well, I really think we're we're, we're really going to see what's going to happen up front. I mean, that's really what's going to decide this game is is who's going to go and win uh, up front in the trenches, uh, the front line, both offensively and defensively. I think is really what this comes down to. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, I agree. The front three attack is going to be a, a, an important right. uh, an important point of fixation there. Um, we got to be looking for height, all right? So we know we got our, our, our big old tech tome. We got a few other planetary giants, which can't do anything but beckon. What brings us to this match today? And that is the very best PC in the universe, mm -hmm. Starforge Systems. Mm -hmm. Guys, please take your time, go to your browser, ask for your parents' permission, and look at www.starforgesystems.com mm -hmm. to check out a system that can broadcast a face, a voice, and a body as formidable as NMP LOLs. So on mm. NMP LOLs channel, you're going to see a bunch of systems from the stars forged by them. Is that right, S-Fan? Absolutely, and if I'm gonna be real honest with you, I, I, I ain't too big a fan of uh, you know the computer technology, but I got me one of them Starforge systems, and it changed my life. You know, so much so that I was even thinking about getting me a Starforge jersey that you can Maybe. get. Pre-orders I heard are gonna end today, and you could get the red, you could get the blue. Personally, I'm a fan of the red, but you could also get the green Starforge game day jersey if you want. The pre-orders will be ending today, so. Uh, today is our last chance for that as well. Your last day to dress with the best, ladies and gentlemen. And after you see the performances, they're willing to, uh, to, to, to showcase this afternoon. I don't know how you could say no to it, Chad. I just don't. Oh, man. You really That's can't. Been... Now, we also, I wanted to mention one more thing that we have to give away. Speaking of green, there is a Razor giveaway pinned at the top of chat right now. You can win yourself Kio Pro, SV2 Pro, or a Keylight Chroma. You know, it's Razer. They like the lights. They like the different colored lights, the RGB, the Chroma lighting. That is a giveaway from OTK and Razer. 
pinned right at the top of chat. So that's right there available for you as well, that giveaway. Forgive me. You, are you good there? You good there, Wake? Well, I just hey, make it my business to be a professional, S fan. Right. Yeah, I mean, if you're not careful, Forgive you're gonna show your steak and up, eggs. If you're not careful, you're gonna show your steak and eggs, actually. Which, uh, if you don't see it right here, you're gonna be able to see that Fridays at 11 a.m. Central Time this week. It's going to be with special guest Meat Canyon. Over on the Steak and Eggs podcast, you can listen on Spotify. You can see it on YouTube. Uh, I believe that's Apple Podcasts as well. I ain't too uh, familiar with the technologies. I think that's what that icon is. But uh, but yes, that is available as well. Uh, this week's episode came out today with Meat Canyon, but it comes out every Friday. The Steak and Eggs podcast. Oh man, uh, mm -hmm. where, where can I get a Meat Canyon? There's a lot of places you can get a meat canyon, but yeah, you can do it over on YouTube on the Steak and Eggs podcast. Steak and Eggs podcast on mm -hmm. YouTube. Oh, man. I mean, I, I was uh, curious about that. So, here's the thing. Uh, when we're talking about something like the Steak and Eggs podcast, it's pretty simple, right? We even use the term Steak and Eggs to describe the bare bones of something, right? Get a few people in a room. They really start talking shop. Let's talk a little shop. Let's get to the steak and eggs of the sport of volleyball. How about that? So the rules today, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are unfamiliar, two teams of six players will face off in four sets. Uh, each set is played to 25 points. At the end of the fourth set, the team with the most wins is declared the winner, um, which is interesting because that is an even number. Um, I do not yes. know if we're going to be playing the uh, customary 15-point set uh, to uh, break the tie in the event that we get there. I'm expecting some high-octane passes. S-Fan, uh, what do you think? Is this going to go... Are we going to go the distance? Well, like uh, I said, on I, I, I think that if, uh, if these players have been coached the way that they, they've been coached, or excuse me, they play the way that they've been coached properly, then uh, no, I, I don't think they're going to go to five. Uh, and I think that's why we just straight up left it out of the rules. So, uh, you know, if, if out of the push comes to shove, then maybe we'll play five. We'll see what happens. Well, I think that, you know, when you get high octane athletes together, mm. anything's possible as fan. And among them, we have none other than the uncrowned MVP of game day football edition, Austin Show. Uh, also known as uh, Baker Gayfield, one of the single best scrambling quarterbacks in the league. I don't know how that's going to help him today. Uh, very different environment. However, I think that he can help keep the ball alive from start to finish. What do we know about Baker, S fan? Uh, I really think he's got a lot of opportunity here to uh, to, to work around in the backfield, uh, make some space for himself, and really be able to send it downfield. And that's that's really what uh, we saw that last week, or excuse me, it was uh, two weeks ago from uh, from Baker here. And uh, I expect to see the same thing this week. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, word is he has not stopped talking about his football performance. I can confirm that. And he wishes Hassan was here who couldn't make it because, unfortunately, he heard both teams had a liberal. Next mm. up, we have the crowned MVP, the king of last week, Afghans. Afghans yes. going there, making sure he's flexing a totally unrelated sports achievement um, that isn't going to help him in any capacity today, but he's willing to flex it. Uh, as uh, that that's that's kind of the spine of streaming. So returning MVP, what else do we know? Well, no, I think you're absolutely right. I think what he showed last week is going to play a huge factor uh, this week. You know, it, it doesn't really matter what happens throughout the rest of the game, and, and really two or three plays are really what all it makes up, uh, or what, what it really makes up the, uh, the the final impact of the game. That's really what decides everything. So uh, I, I think that Afghans is going to go out there, and he's going to play in the clutch, and he's going to do big time. Well, uh, I'm excited to see what he can do. Next up, none other than Big Brit coming in here, showing us that she can do uh, a bunch of things not related to the sport of... Oh, there we go. Hold on. She's keeping the ball alive. Now, that is what we call a double touch and will be ruled a point to the opposing team. Word on the street is Brit got over her fear of spheres and other round objects, was absolutely devastated to learn that the ball was indeed not flat. Yeah, that was a big uh, that was a big thing that she had to overcome. I mean, it was uh, it was a I, I had an opportunity to talk to Britt and the coach uh, prior to this game, and uh, that was probably one of the biggest revelations that we've had uh, in in the sport of uh, 
uh, volleyball. That's what we're playing. So, uh, yes, in the sport, we've had this is probably yep. one of the biggest revelations that we've had recently. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what she can do today with that uh, with that knowledge. And I'm looking forward to it as well. Now, in a list of uh, formidable partners to more successful men, we have none other than Caroline, a force, a force of, of hold on. I believe she's giving oh, birth. Uh, that's a there whole is, lot of force coming out labor. there. Oh, she's there it takes labor. the snap, takes the snap, looks downfield. Look at that. All right. And, oh, and, and he throws the baby. That's See, he, that's an unbelievable play. I love that vision. I love that Matt vision was, right there. I believe a live stream history moment, the first time labor has been shown live. Now, honorary Austin, Texas resident at this point, she's made many a trip back to the city and uh, somehow fractured her wrist from a volleyball before. So look for the, uh, let's call it a, a bit of a glass doll uh, or a glass cannon, dare I say. I'm looking for one big point, probably in the clutch that may ruin her career uh, for the foreseeable future. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I can only say the same. Uh, volleyballs are incredibly dangerous and it's they can definitely break glass. Oh, I agree. All right, next up, thinking of speaking of things that break, we've got one of the very one of the eggs from the Steak and Egg podcast. Very fragile shell, but a whole lot of yolk, a whole lot of gumption, a whole lot of can do, showing us just how capable she is at moving around uh, in mm. a right leaning circle. She's great at clockwise. Mm. Can she go counter? That's the mm. question. Um, and that's what we to like to about... see right there. We like to see that right leaning circle. Um, you know, the only big question is, can she control her off-the-court problems? A uh, perennial alcoholic and a true concern for team chemistry, Emaru uh, has uh, somehow managed to never score a single point in any of the, uh, I believe now, six game days she's been a part of. Um, however, uh, you know, you can't knock uh, what she brings, the intangibles, the X Factor. You know what I mean? Yeah, Speaking I mean, of X Factor... I, I think so. I, I do want to just mention real quick, you know, we talked about the steak and the eggs and, uh, and the yolk. We got to see what kind of yolk she's really made of this week. So uh, if she plays with that kind of technique that we just saw, I think we could see a really big game from Emaru. And I, I could not agree more. Next up, putting the Lil and Libero. Oh, you got Lil Bro, E-Rob 221, El Burro the Jackass, famous for almost ruining game day football. Um, soon to be famous again for spiking a ball as hard as he can into extra Emily's face. He will celebrate. He is tone deaf. Cannot build a shed for shit. However, this won't be the first time he's gone out and done something that he refuses to do properly. Is that right? Uh, I mean, I, I would like to say yes, but I really wouldn't know. Uh, I mean, this, this guy is the biggest question mark here. Uh, I don't really know what he has to offer, but we'll see what he can do. Well, uh, uh, we can tell that our copywriters there had a hard time digging anything up to really talk about him. Uh, it seems like their most uh, their most uh, celebratory point is that he did build a shed. It was just bad. Next up, let's get to the real X Factor, the real extra dash of spice on this team. None other than Extra Emily. Uh, rumor has it she's planning on uh, being more of a defensive specialist today, trying to stop everything she can with her own face. Um, that's yeah, what I, I heard backstage. Not sure if it's true. No, I, that actually is 100% true. I, I think that the game plan here with Extra Emily is going to be playing to her strengths. She's going to go out there and really defend the deep ball, and uh, hopefully we, she can keep people from scoring touchdowns. And I couldn't agree more. I think, um, you know, well, as fan, we um, we get a, we we score kills in this game, which should be uh, natural to you as a native Texan. Um, so oh, this is what happened here. Last time she frowned was in 2003. Look for a lot of smiles, a lot of positivity, and the ability to keep the team alive when they're down in the clutch. Um, you know, we, we think that uh, it's that kind of glue, that kind of camaraderie that can really keep uh, the ball moving. Next up, we've got none other than the man, the myth, the peanut. Jelly Peanut here showing us just how much athletic prowess he has. Um, he did lose that phone, but that was not from the fall. It's just because that man has more ass than he knows what to do with. Anything in the back pockets getting ejected like a seat in a spaceship. So, uh, Jelly Peanut is s -fan. Tell us about the man. Well, the, the biggest thing with Jelly Peanut is uh, the the fact that he uh he really made his claim to fame in among us and really going out there and being able to uh find out who the uh, who the imposter is is going to be the biggest important thing here in this volleyball game today uh he's a massive weep and he did uh 
So they said he, he watched a lot of haiku to prepare. That's actually uh, that's actually false. He wrote several haikus uh, in order to prepare. A little 575. Five. Speaking of someone who's 5'7", or probably more like 5'5", five, five, we've got none other than... The Kiff! Looking like he uh, shaved up the sides a little bit. I don't know if... Um, I... I'm... S fan, I'm fucking appalled. What's going on here? Can you explain the choices that we're seeing? I'm typically not without words, but I don't. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I think the thing that uh, the thing that Ms. Kiff is really worried about here is, uh, is is the wrist. I mean, he goes in and and he's obviously with his personal trainer Sinak, and uh, they're going over some pregame stretches and some uh, what what you call instead of uh, uh, rehab, it's prehab trying to get out mm. there and make sure that he's ready to play today so uh he at, the, at least that's what he told me so uh he is actually related to squeaks as well a lot of people did not know this but he is related to squeaks he is squeaks little brother and mm. uh he is a massive scumbag so the real question is how is he going to collect his limb today the issue being there's not a lot of interface between uh the his team and the opposing team so let's look for some friendly fire today and Speaking of friendly fire, um, we've got someone who uh, loves to fire in a way that's friendly. That there is Soda Poppin, Champagne Poppin, the only undefeated member in OTK Game Day for two years now. Um, we question what the intangibles are, what the X factor is, and I think he's demonstrating it now. Um, pretty adept at the Fortnite dances or any kind of celebration because he's only prepared to win, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. What do we know about Soda? The biggest thing I think right now is the fact that he's willing to travel so far. He did just fly in from North Carolina on a private jet this morning uh, in order to be able to participate in this game day. Uh, he is going to be an X Factor player for us. Absolutely. And uh, I think things are going to go great with uh, with Soda popping in the helm. So, you know, one thing to know is that S-Fan, uh, he, he, Soda Poppin does best in the second dimension. It's where he's most comfortable. So when we start thinking about the fact that we have that third plane to deal with, things could get messy. However, I think as long as we've got him in the front line, he could be able to really use his 2D aplomb to his advantage here. Um, and next up, speaking of people who, uh, you know, really... Uh, like to challenge convention, maybe question the way things work, overturn certain things that are, uh, are you know, uh, traditional. Um, we've got none other than the shaman himself, Big Q Squeaks, and uh, he's getting carried by Wojito, much like the entire city of Austin, and just abusing him in the process. What do we know about Squeaks? Uh, well, probably the, the thing that he's most famous for is that one time he was called Dr. K if he never got over his gaming addiction. Uh, which is, I mean, absolutely true. Uh, he's out here squeaks in his shit, deleting his shit. He's out here beating his. Sh uh, anyway, uh, he's also. I don't. I, I. He's guaranteed to say bazinga at least twice. Can we get confirmation on that? Is that true? Well, uh, I believe I have a parlor. I mean, I think so. Uh, next up, none other than the second egg, the biggest bird, Tech Tonathan. Tectone is going to be a good center blocker here. Someone that we really got to look for on the attack line, really staying in front of the net. He is the only person they invited who is over six foot, and that's because, well, when you account for the lack of vertical, it's about an even playing field. What we can expect from Tectone is a lot of haiku references, all right? Uh, he has watched, even though he hated the anime, uh, haiku two times now. That is how the only way he could turn that five into a 10, in his words. Not his first bad take, certainly not his last. One thing to know about Tectone is S Fan? Uh, well, there's three things. Uh, old, bald, and uh, lo locked in. And uh, when we say locked in, we're saying uh, locked in top lane split pushing back uh, back dooring. So uh, mm -hmm. Tectone's gonna do what it takes to win and he's gonna find a way to, to get his ELO up. It's big time. I see, I see. Well, we'll see if he can get hard carried today. Next up, we have none other than Billy Butter, the man you never want to bet against. Trust me on that. I am an expert. Every parlay I have for tonight is going in Big Billy Butter's favor. Will Neff, he is testosterone personified. He is virility manifest, a true man who on looks alone has impregnated your mother. One thing to know about Will Neff is that he was, and s -Band, correct me here, Recently banned on YouTube for impersonating himself. Can we get? Uh, I, I believe it's because he's such a true. figure. 
Mm -hmm, that is mm -hmm. a thousand percent true. It absolutely did happen. Uh, I mean, that's that's what happens, you know, when you're a, when your figure is well known as Will Neff, that uh, only you can impersonate yourself. Well, that's how you know, it was. He claims he would have scored 12 TDs if he had played in football. And, uh, you know, with how often he's in the back of your mother's zone, I believe him. So next up, we have none other than the host, the big man. Malena is playing today. Mal oh, my God. It looks like Brick Pollum with Pollum has actually anamorphed his way into his final fourth stage evolution of total fucking garbage. Now, this is, as far as I can tell, massively, massively underselling just how bad he was in the last few game days. It's hard to say if he's the reason they lost or simply played down to their level, but what you hope to see from a nine-time gladiator, a born winner, is the ability to rally, the capacity to find something in himself, um, but it seems as if he's been more committed to becoming an Apex legend than an Apex predator. Uh, he has denied going to the gym every day for the last two months. Um, we don't know what we're going to see. Well, and the reason that he's done that is to, to save up all his energy for today's game. Mm. You know, and, and Jason's really going to go out there, and he told me before the game, he said, look, I've already pre-ordered my meal at Uber Eats to go pick it up. So he's going to Whataburger after this. He expects to just drive in there, get his meal and go. It's victory meal. So uh, he's 100% confident that he's going to win, and we'll see how it goes. Well, all we can hope for is that, uh, you know, this kind of divine motivation is enough to kick him into gear. We have on the sideline today a handful of cheerleaders meant to really boost morale for these athletes as they come to their final stage here. Who do we have here today, S-Fan? We have Jessica Negri and Peach Jars coming in as uh, as our cheerleaders for today. Now, we could only afford one cheerleader for each team uh, because we spent all of our budget on the phenomenal graphics that we have for game day every single week. So uh, we do have uh, two very excited people for each team and or excuse me, one for each team. And uh, it's going to be a great day. I could not agree more. We have a righteous lineup of, of, of true Apex athletes today, S-Fan. Who do you think the X Factor is? And um, where do we want to see them? I mean, how do we think they're going to break up the teams? I mean, if we could get a list here, do we have do we have a roster there in production? I'd love for us to be able to break down where we think the picks are going to go. And S-Fan, if we were drafting, who's our premium creme de la creme number one? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that when it comes to this game, size is king size is king and i think tectone is probably going to be an early pick for uh for one of these teams being able to go up as a middle blocker uh being able to, to set the edge and be able to go down and take down the quarter the uh, take take it down the field i think is what you need Oh, see, now, now what, we're, what we're really going to be getting here, and uh, we call this uh, a middle blocker here. Um, we want Tectone up, arms up, just kind of lording over and guarding that net, putting the ball right back down onto the hardwood. It's what we really want to see. Now, here's the real thing is that you want a good defensive scrambler, someone who's really going to show that lateral movement, ability to, let's say, not stay in any one position. Let's call it sit on the fence. NMP Lowell might be the Libero we're looking for, but when you look at Erob 221 we can't argue that we might have the world's biggest little bro um, that the world's ever seen. So, you know, as far as Libro is concerned, um, you know, the swing could really be in E-Rob's team's favor wherever it is he lands. Um, but enough from us uh, old hags here uh, behind the desk. I think we need to get down in the field and start looking at them on their feet. That copy was written by Nick Pollum. Um, so uh, take it away, Milena. Did he just call me an old hag, or did he call himself an old hag? I don't know, but hello, like welcome to the last episode of Game Day. We are here today, we're going to play volleyball, and as you can see, all these streamers are, again, so unorganized, just not really doing shit, just probably networking. Uh, can I get a few words with Seer? Seer, you're not playing today. Why are you not playing? I'm going to be coaching today. Okay, what is your what is your dream team? Give me the lineup. Uh, dream team lineup, we're talking uh, NMP LOL, we are talking Will Neff, we are talking Austin Show. We are talking. Uh, who are the other guys? Um, just the men. Afghans was MVP. Afghans. Last week. Yeah, yeah. Afghans. Get him I, out there. E Rock. Get him out there. Not Brent. You have not Chance. mentioned a single woman. And that's how this team is going to be playing today. So let's get out there. Okay, we're glad to hear it. We love just inclusion and positivity. And as you can see over there, Nick is getting ready. Just 
prepping with all of his heart. He's he's getting ready, stretching. Uh, but I will remind you, today we're following the rule that we did last week. You cannot pick the same captains over again. But uh, I heard rumors that Austin is pretty sad that he didn't get MVP or captain or anything, even though he did carry the entire last game. So, But he also really wants to be on a team with Will. So I'm definitely not brigading the vote right now. But if you pick Austin to be captain, he's probably going to pick Will first. And uh, yeah, I'm just helping him out because he oh, yeah, came out here. See? He's strategizing right now with Miz. Probably about other things, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, Tecno, can we get a few words with you here? Will. Hi, Melina. Will. Hi. I'm so excited to see you. I'm, I'm so, so excited happy to, to be see around you. you. Are you? Are you? Are you? Will. Are you just? Do you think They're, you're great at volleyball? Uh, it's my first time playing, and you know what? Win, lose, draw. I'm just excited to be on the field today, and I'm um, put my heart out there, and I'm um, gonna try to bring home the W. Okay. So just how many players? How many players are on the field at the same time of one team in volleyball? That's got to be 12, right? 12 feet, 12 feet, yeah, yeah. 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 We're so excited. Mm -hmm. Talk about your who's wearing extra Emily's. Extra Emily, can we get some nice words with you? Bye, Tecton. Bye, Will. Side, Tecton. Hello, Hello, incredible. I'm so excited uh, for volleyball. You are. Uh, um, I, hurt, I tried Whoa. and it hurt my arm, but I'm willing to get hurt a lot for today's game. You are? Yeah. Well, okay. Let's do it, baby. Um, me and Chance are undefeated right now, so I want to okay. make sure that I do 4-0 for today. Uh, You're kind of jinxing uh, it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. It'll be great. We'll Who do you hope to be on a team with? Okay. Eric. Eric's really cute. Yeah. He's actually really good. You I think saw him. good? Yeah, I'm surprised. Don't you have to be like really tall to be good at uh, like volleyball? He is the difference. Wow. I think the secret weapon today is tactile. Um, I saw him play a little bit. He was kind of, you know, doing illegal hits and he's... Uh, I don't know. Cock He's sucker, okay. Mother fuck. Oh my god. Okay, who do you think is going to be captains? <laughs> I don't know what to throw up. Uh, I think Austin could be a good one. And okay. uh, Squeaks. Yeah. Squeaks. Squeaks and Austin. That's who you want to be captains. Okay. Thank you so much. But I don't want to be on Team Squeaks. He's also kind of bad. Okay, bye. Bye. Austin? Yeah. Can we get a word? Absolutely, Melania. I heard rumors that uh, yeah. we're hoping, or I'm hoping that you're going to be captain. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, after last week, uh, I'm just not sure what's going to happen. I really thought I had the MVP, but uh, Afghan stole it. He no, but you know he deserved no, he it. he did. He deserved it. Afghan's deserved it, and I'm so happy for him. Couldn't be happier for him. I think everyone was actually so impressed with how you played last week. I think I was very impressed as well. And uh, how do you think you're going to do in volleyball? You know, I haven't played volleyball since Mexico 2018 on the beach. Um, don't remember much of it. Uh, haven't played since. Uh, haven't really even warmed up. So we're gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to let my uh, hopefully natural abilities take hold, Melina. Okay. Well, I hope that you get chosen captain today, and I hope that you get to be on whoever team you want. I hope I'm on Will Neff's team. That's that's what I want. I want Will Neff on my team. Okay. So chat, please. I don't care if I'm captain. Please make him captain so I could be on his team. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, that's thank it. you. Can we get everyone to line up for the captain? Though? Player, you see this line right here? Yeah. I think it's working. Are you excited? I feel great. Do you want to be a captain or do you want to be on Austin's team? I just want to play with the boys. Okay. Okay. Who do you want to be on team with? I want to be my. Uh, I want to be on everyone's team, and I am still on a high from two weeks ago, and I'm ready to win. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! Whose team do you want to be on? Whatever team wins. Okay. <laughs> He's a little shy. I'm on the. Austin line. Oh. You're on line. <laughs> Scratches on the back of my neck. There's something on the back of my neck. Oh Jesus! What the fuck happened? Bro. I don't know. Is there scratches? Oh, yeah, I didn't see Austin. Do I have belly rub? Do I have belly rub? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Who did it? Is there scratches? God damn. Oh my god. Don't do tech. Don't hurt you. Oh my god. Please, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> okay. no, okay. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Run pull. <laughs> okay. Hands up if you want to be captain. Yay. Bray, you can't. You were captain last week. But Eric was twice. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's before we implement the That's a good role, act, actually. Uh, what's going on? Do you even want to be here? I don't know what happened. Yeah, you do? I do. play? Yeah, I do. You're not contractually obligated to? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what if, no, you were captain first round, right? Uh, second, I think. Second, OK. Yeah. So you can't be captain again. OK, OK. Why do you look so angry today? My rabbit died. Oh. Your what? My rabbit died. 
Really? Yeah, way to bring it up. What? Is it serious? Yeah. Oh, I fucked up. Miz, we need your head in the game, okay? <laughs> hey, at least your hair is not blonde, so. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, rabbit. I'm sorry, I have to. Okay. Pull? Pull? Any captains? Yet? Is Farley on the poll? Farley, Farley is, is, Farley is uh, you can vote for Farley. Is he on the poll? Okay. Okay. <laughs> have you been captain yet? No, I have not. Oh. He doesn't like you the camera. What? You two against each other would be crazy. Oh, that would be good. Okay, Farley, stop this. Are you sure? Hello. Oh. Okay. Okay. Tecton, do you dream of being captain? You know what? I just want to be on my favorite streamer Nick's team this time because I want to do him proud. Well, you know what? You are captain today. You're come on, let's go. You're kidding. So it's you versus Austin. Austin. What? Really? What? Wow. Tecton versus Austin. Oh let's my get god. It. No way! Let's wow. go! Hey. What can I say? Hey. 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 Last pick. He's not last pick. He's not last pick. Well, he was the moment. Wow, that's amazing. Well, I, well, like who bought it this? I have no idea who like bought this poll. I'd, uh, I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank a lot of people, but I'll get to it. What's your favorite color, red or blue? Uh, blue. What a blue. Blue. What's your blue, favorite blue. color, red or blue? Blue. Uh, rock paper scissors. Who gets blue? Of one. Rock paper scissors shoot. Fuck. Okay, you get blue. Can I have it? Uh, Production, who got the most votes? Help. You're going to be first to pick of all these amazing people right here. What I get? Okay, Austin, um, you got the most picks, so you get to choose first. How do you feel? Who do you want on your team? Bring it home. Chad, who do I want on my team? I think Will. I want Will Neff, baby. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> we went for the. <laughs> I thought we were going for a chest bump. No, you wanted to be no, healthy. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted well, to be healthy. Okay, Tacto. Okay. Who's your crazy. first pick? <laughs> I am going to pick a man <laughs> who has more accolades than I can count on both hands. Multi time gladiator, apex diamond player, NMP. Oh shit. Well, yeah. you, you, you're upset. You're upset. Hopefully, Tectone doesn't pick me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh god, okay, who's your next? I'm pick? keeping it in the family. I'm going Caroline Kwan. Give me a kiss now. That's your own Twitch. Not on kick. Come on. Next. Come on. Next pick. Next pick. Most handsome. Most Jack testosterone player. This player is a threat to all people on the court, on the enemy, and his allies. I'm picking Mizkiff. Oh. <laughs> Legit the next pick. Hey, this might be. This, we will this. win. We will win. We will, okay. This is a team, baby. This, this is, is a team. This is a team. No women. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We got this. We got this. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's Austin, crazy, right? <laughs> who, who are we campaigning for over here? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody really wants to be picked over. <laughs> I think we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna. Uh, oh, is, do I have to talk into the mic? No, it's oh, oh. just a pop. Okay. Well, no, it's real. It's real. I'm gonna go with Squeaks. Yeah, let's go. Hey, yeah, hey, we, we kiss here. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Come on. You gotta, you gotta give them like something. Next up, I'm picking one of the most beautiful. Handsome streamer, oh, W's fine. only, man has never failed a day in his life, Eric. <laughs> Fuck! Yes, sir. Go, baby. I am so happy to be on this team. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. This is Mexico the team, baby. Dude, this is LA versus Texas right here. We you will see execute. This? Holy shit. Look. Wait, you picked no Austin locals. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know who lives here and who doesn't. Everybody's here. We're the coastal elite. Yes. We need yeah. <laughs> a solid, trustworthy team. Okay, look, look. Uh, we're building a championship-like atmosphere over here. That's right. And uh, we like to go with people that know how to win and who have won the big game, so we're going with Afghans. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no kisses. Dude, this is, I see a trend here because he just moved here. Like, th there's no Austin Locos here. Okay, who's next? Next up, I'm picking a guy who honestly really isn't that good. Still no winner. Honestly, pretty slow. Pretty weak. Not gonna lie. Kind of a dick. But for some reason, he always wins. Picking chance. <laughs> oh my god. 
God damn it. This team is gonna pick you next. He, 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 he he is I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. What's up with the women trend here? Dude, you don't have a single lady on your team. We don't need a woman. You guys, you guys hate we women love, or something. We, we love women. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in Women's Month, month of March. And we're going with Britt. That's right. Woo! Blue team! That's this right. Britt versus Erob team. Okay. You know what? We could just take both Emily's and do OTK versus. Wow! Do it! Oh, shit. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do you want us to do OTK versus? Let's do it! Let's do it! <laughs> OTK versus. <laughs> I love this. It's actually a good idea. What a twist. So you are coaching OTK today? Uh, I will actually be headed over Wait, you, against... You cannot do that. Uh, That's not in your contract. contract. I will be opposing OTK today. I'm so sorry. Give I'm us sorry to upset you. I, I must be going now. We've got... We've got Don. All right. I'm going team. I will be coaching. Can he do that? Can he do that? I don't know. Okay. OTK over here. OTK over here. This is my announcement video right here. Oh, shit. What? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Fuck. Um, so we got OTK here. Are you guys happy that Techie chose you? Come on, Eric. Get in here. Thanks, Techie. I got you. Thanks, I'm very Techie. excited. I think we win this great. one. Are you we happy with your team? We have a chance. We win. I'm very happy. I would not want anybody else. Okay. It's the perfect team. Okay. Okay. Where's Nick? He ran away. Okay. Nick is disappointed. Are you happy with your team? Yeah. This is. These are my friends, man. This is. Yay. This is what Yay. I wanted. Right. Okay. Yes. Let's give it one, two, three, friends. Okay. One, two, three, friends. Four, four, and then let's eight. go check on the Warriors over here. Warriors. They are, not, they are not open for questioning right now, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. We got a big game ahead of us right now. Okay. Spokesperson. Yo, we can get, we can get yeah, some strategy. Yeah, yeah. Some strategy. Yeah, how, oh. What do you think you're going to win with today? Who's the secret player? I think I'm the secret player. I'm sort of like the unknown uh, factor here, and I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been watching a lot of anime, specifically yeah. Haikyuu yeah. Season 1, so yeah. I think I know everything I need. So on the other team, who do you think is going to yeah. be the secret can I, can I best player? I think they're all trash. They're not going to be good at all. Of course, OTK sticks together, um, and frankly, I think we're going to destroy them easy, I think, collectively. If I had to choose one, it'd be uh, Soda Poppin'. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. He's gonna be an MVP. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get them changed into jerseys and then have them warm up, and then before you know it, the game will be started. Back to Wake and S Band. What color are we? Are we blue? The odds are insane. The odds are insane. Guys, we got a very exciting game planned today. I know Wake's been on the phone for the last three or four minutes. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but. Uh, we got a very, very excited game coming up now. We have two great teams, uh, very evenly matched, as we can tell. Uh, I, I, uh, I did have to make a change of scenery here, um, but uh, the weather weather's getting kind of bad out there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're very excited. We're very excited about what's to come here shortly. Who do you think is really going to be the biggest pick uh, from these two teams, Wake? I mean, I checked in with, um, you know, the big guys. Um, God, I checked in with God, and God, I mean, let me tell you something, God was saying the odds are really favoring red due to the perennial winners they have. Soda Poppin' is a major X factor when it comes to prediction at this point, and they don't really have anywhere else to go. Um, you know, so when you look at the height that they have on the red team and the odds being stacked in that direction, it's an obvious time to take the under and go with blue, go with the underdog. Um, all, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, shorter in stature, less, uh, you know, visible, formidable power, less winning history. However, when you look at someone like Austin and Will Neff, you know, Austin, who's probably grown up rewatching the Top Gun volleyball scene over and over and over again, mm. That's something you can't discount. He's got those plays railed into the back of his head. And then you got none other than Billy Butter who came in cosplay. You never bet against Billy Butter. That's mm. been my mantra. That's been my belief. That's what I've internalized. And I'm going to stand by it regardless of whether or not the record shows. Um, I've, I've, I'm feeling like there's just a lot of good juju coming from Blue. A lot of good energy. Uh, you know, uh, Blue's been a guiding light. I don't think Blue team's lost, which is kind of a big blunder uh, when you consider uh, where the odds are stacked right now. But they believe in one, the X Factor B and the ultimate Lil Bro, you know, uh, E Rob, Lil Bro, Libro, that's a really big deal in this sport, having that kind of agile defensive specialist. And no one's better at being Lil Bro than E Rob. So we really got to consider that when we start breaking down the odds. Soda's never lost. Mizkiff's gonna, the only thing, 
Will Mizkiff hurt one of his fragile aging team members, such as Nick Pollum? That is a big point of concern. Um, but if this team pulls it all together, I believe that they have more of the athletic prowess, the verticality, and the actual, you know, uh, physical height to challenge this. Um, also, I mean, we've got extra Emily for the X Factor and, um, you know, Emaru to uh, cast kind of a blank scornful gaze at all of them, um, really encouraging uh, a, a heightened performance. It's hard to say, S-Fan. How, how are we feeling on your end of the desk? Uh, look, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I love red. I really do. I love red. Red's my favorite color. And uh, I, I think I'm going to have to stick with them. Blue's been winning last four weeks, last five weeks, whatever it is. And uh, I think this is our time to shine. You know, I, I think I think red will rise again. The one thing we have to remember here on Blue Team is that win or lose, we do know that Squeaks will question the validity of the results and will be leading a charge against whatever the outcome is. He's a tried and true patriot, a true defender of truth, and I think that uh, when, uh, you know, it all comes down to it, you know, uh, Q seeks you, you know, you see Q. Um, all anagrams that lead, and uh, to me, in my mind, leader. Um, Squeaks is going to be able to rally them, you know, uh, when the going gets tough, uh, even when everyone's like, it's obvious that you're losing. You know what I mean? He's going to say no. He refuses to accept it. And that's a big point. We have Caroline Kwan, who we know is a defensive specialist as well, has been MVP of, a, of an OTK soccer game. And when you count the MVPs, look, I think Vegas is crazy. I don't think Red is a chance. Um, that's my take. And when I mean Vegas, I mean God, again, because I'm a man of God, not a man of Vegas. Um, I mean God um, is, um, I think they're really discounting what could be a total, a total a landslide. I mean, wh 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 where do you really see this going? Where do you really see this going, S-Fan? Who, who are you looking out for tonight? Well, you know, you said it best, and I think this is going straight to church. That's what's going to happen. You know, juice. and I think you gotta you gotta follow your heart. You gotta follow the Lord. And uh, like I said, I think I think red team's gonna take this. You got you got a lot of talent on the red team, and I know you, you got the blue devil coming in. You got the blue devil coming in, trying to change everything, trying to trying to take us away from what is good and what is right. So uh, I, I'm gonna follow the red team. I think I think when we start looking at the weakest links, um, you know, I, I I think that that's where blue really falls short because we have people who are learning that round things exist today. That is a massive caveat. I mean, having anyone out there who has yet to reckon with the reality of a sphere is uh, gonna really challenge us. But then again, the blue team, or the red team, does have soda popping who also tends to neglect the concept of the third dimension. There's a lot of really interesting psychological, um, you know, caveats here. Little games that they're gonna have to play back and forth to really get that bleeding edge on their opponent. Uh, but I can tell you one thing's for sure. Um, I believe, win or lose, we're all leaving uh, a little bit richer today. Um, you know, um, and that that is in no reference to a split bet or any kind of- about, um, richer in, um, richer in spirit, richer in mm. experience, you Amen. know? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I mean, I, 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 and, 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 and as fan, this is the important thing here, and this is something you know. It's about who controls the front line, all right? Who's right there on the edge, looking down on him, saying, spike it in my face. I'm not taking the L. And they put it all back down there, you know, arms up, yeah, taking it to right. the house. Saying, that's right. See, I, love it. I love it. it. I love down. it. I love Price it. I love it. I love it. I love it. See, that's the kind of passion we need out there. See, that's the kind of passion we need out there. See, that's that's what I need to see. That's what I want to see from both these teams. I want to see passion. Okay. I want to see passion. I want to see uh, uh, a commitment. And I want to see a belief. And I want to see a confidence. Okay, trust the process. Confidence, belief, faith that the process will lead to results. And, that, and that's the biggest thing. Absolutely, Wake Wilder. Absolutely. Can we get a thank God for Wake Wilder, please? Please, can we get a thank God for Wake Wilder? I love it. Thank I love God. it. Mm. Austin Show. Because I think he's going to make us um, a, a lot more richer in experience, a lot more a good feeling. And then that, you know, people that rely on you, people like Deborah, who said the second boat wasn't going to float. Um, you can tell her, guess what? I patched up the holes. I patched up the holes on the team. And these teams, I think today, are going to show us what the true spirit of competition is.
And, um, you know, first things forward, let's go with my underdogs, Big Blue. Who do we have out there on the court today? Let's go ahead and get these introductions rolling. Well, I'm stoked. S-Fan, are you stoked? Well, I, I'm, I'm incredibly happy to see what we got here. All right. It looks like, uh, first and foremost, we've got a production peering through the cracks there. Uh, the real MVP of game day, someone who you really can't miss, correct? Jacob on the floor. Big tip Absolutely. of the hat to everyone making it work. And second, to the man, the myth, the Austin Show. A true, a true competitor. Someone who's really willing to go back and forth, really get into the hole and dig it out. Um, you know, as far as digs are concerned, I imagine he'll be leading it. Who do we have next? Caroline Kwan coming in there with a big win and mm. escorted by his coach, none other than Billiam Butter, the golden boy. The yeah, Golden Corral, the I Chocolate Fountain. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love that. That's that, that's great. Look at that from Coach Sear. We also have Trailer Swift coming in here. Britt, I mean, this is my personal MVP. I, I think she's really going to be the one, the X-Factor player for the blue team right here. Uh, coming in, you can see the athleticism. You can see the commitment. You can see the passion right here from Afghans as well. He's coming in, getting his B skips in. He skipped the A skips, going straight to the B skips. Maybe someday you can get a higher grade. We'll see. Squeaks. Squeaky's leading the charge here. Mm -hmm. Leading the charge, absolutely. Take it away, quick, Wilder. Leading the charge there, going right up next to his very well-guarded Afghans. And then we got Jelly Peanut. Wait until you get to that second half. It's a sight to behold, but it seems though he just wants to tease us a little bit. That man is so caked up, he could open a bakery. And boy, are we lucky. Now we've got the red team here, none other than Champagne Pop and Morris, the undefeated, the capable, now in red, is there some bad juju here? Who's to say? I Big certainly hope battle. so. Big uphill battle. Big uphill battle. You know, what we, where we don't got an uphill battle is extra Emily right here. I mean, she's just going downhill the whole time. You can see that just hopping around, just full momentum. That's how you do it. Great job from her. We have Emeril here excited, ecstatic, completely, completely overwhelmed with joy that she's here right now. And you can see the passion. You also have NMP, Nicholas Michelle Pollum coming in. Like a bat out of hell. Look at that right there. You can see that. Look at the moves. Look at the hips. The speed, Man. the velocity, Incredible. the killer instinct. Speaking of which, someone who's managed to kill every game day somehow, Eric Erob, 2 2 1 Robbins. What is he going to do today to uh, somehow deflate a ball? Then we got none other than the arm collector, Ms. Kiff, processing a lot of grief, a lot of loss. D E O, D Do, D -O, D Do, the legend. One that we mm. cannot forget. One that I believe he's going to dedicate um, probably Eric's left leg to. Um, and then we have none other than Tectone himself. The team captain. The the biggest bird. The ultimate weeb. And perhaps uh, the, the ultimate center blocker. Now that middle blocker is going to be a real big X factor in today's game. Assuming any of them can jump high enough to hit it over the net. Mm, absolutely. I mean, I, I think when you have such a well-rounded team as Red Team... Uh, I think you can't go wrong. And one thing that I really like to see, I like to see passion, like I said, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they were controlling their energy. Coming in, they, they weren't getting too ahead of themselves. You don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what's important, okay? If you, end up, if you end up coming out here hooping and hollering, throwing a damn fit, acting like you're the best, that's the damn problem with kids these days, okay? They don't, they don't respect the sport like they used to. You know, mm -hmm. they come out here and they just, they want to be the big show. That's all they want to be. They want... Mm -hmm. I think here's here's what here's what I Do we have to clear office? No, I think we're good. I don't know what that was. No worries then today, because I think that's just the sound of a couple of blunders getting out before the game. A lot of pregame nerves, a lot of pregame energy, a lot of a lot of anxiety around what can be a career defining performance for everyone involved. Now, I think that a couple things we can really look for is some high octane spikes directly into the net. The real question is, how is the net going to play a factor here? For those who are unfamiliar, if the ball hits the net and fails to traverse the net, what we then have is a lost point. So it's really important that all of these streamers find a way to use all of the strength they can muster in their atrophied bodies and really get that ball to volley to the other side. Really big caveat there. Um, so the real question is who has it in them who's going to be able to get that ball from a to b and back again um we got to be looking for some advanced plays who's going to be able to see the real kill um we're looking for the big left attacker whoever's playing the left attacker is going to be responsible for the most kills that's what we really want to see today so um please will don't 
fuck me. Well, well I don't um, think he's gonna be. I don't think he's gonna be doing that. Is what? Do you, why you? I mean, it, it, look, listen. It's not about us. It's not about us as hosts here. You know, we're, we're here to really share the good. Well, work. I'm speaking for the the audience. I am the conduit for chat. You know, I I take them to the game and I bring the oh. game to them. So when I'm talking me, I'm talking us. Yeah, well, right? we don't we don't really have any. You know, we we're just here for the sport. You know, Something we're here. To, never we're here. We're here to show you guys. You know, just put on full display. Uh, and what we're gonna to see. We ain't got no full, stake in it. And let's, so. let's never, never, never. And now, you know what? Just to prove that, let's go ahead and let's just get down to the field, get to where it's organic, out on the grass. Where it matters. To Malena to take us back into the back into the trenches. Yep. Thank you so much, Wake and Espen, and welcome back to the court. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. As you can see here, Team uh, OTK is warming up, and they're having great chemistry. And over there. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I'm voting for this team. Probably a little bit biased. And uh, we are, of course, having going to have, uh, well, uh, we're, of course, we're going to have the national anthem today. And uh, we're going to have a talk with a ref. But for now, let's just see how they're warming up. Hey, Ken Zone, Texas, I have a word with you. Yeah, what's up? Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, talk yeah. to you later. Thank you. That's badass. Zone, are you happy with your team? I'm incredibly happy. Okay. I really think that we have a solid chance. I mean, what we don't have in power or skill or athleticism, we have heart. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters because we will win this with our burning fighting spirits. You know, I mean, everybody here thinks we've lost, but not me because I believe in them more than they believe in themselves. And to be honest, that's the only thing that matters. Okay. Um, who do you think is going to be the best player on your team? Best player? None of them, Look, look at your fans. Wait, look at your fans. Look at all right, all right. Hey, hey, no, 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 we signed waivers. We signed waivers. Oh, yeah, yeah. We signed waivers. Oh, okay. uh, best player on the team. I'm going to be real. We signed waivers. I think it's going to be Eric. Eric? Eric. Why not Nick? You pick Nick first. Uh, Nick? Well, the problem is Eric has something to prove. Nick yeah. already knows he's yeah. a three-time gladiator. Yeah. He already has enough accolades. Eric needs this win. Yeah. So, honestly, I think he has it. Right now, he doesn't believe it, but he's about to believe himself. First time we hit the ball, he's going to realize that we've been able to do exactly what he needs to do, and we're going to get it done. And Emily is going to shock the world. I think Emily's going to be a, a big surprising factor today. Yeah, she will. Okay, thank you for your uh, for your words and good luck. You need it. Good thank, luck. Thank you very much. Let's go! I'm going to regret that later. Okay, it looks like they're picking up the pace over here. Uh, no longer trying to figure stuff out. Can we get the cameraman under here? I don't know how strong this thing is. No, I really can't do that. Production's yelling at me. Holy shit. Okay, stop. Stop yelling. <clears throat> Oh, they, have a, they have the MVP from last week. He's wearing red shorts, so I think he anticipated being on the red team. Um, Captain Austin, may we have a quick word? Yeah, yeah. Are you happy with your team? I'm very happy with my team. Uh, a lot of great communication so far, uh, a lot of chemistry, a lot of effort. I'm feeling good about today. What do you think about Team OTK over there? Uh, you know what? Never going to underestimate my opponent. Oh, uh, that team over there, they got a lot of good players. A lot of good players. Yeah, that's true. Uh, especially Tech Tone. I mean, Tectone's incredible. This is his sport, but uh, you know we came here to win. What is a serve? You know what? I don't want to give out any uh, any uh, of our secrets, team secrets. I think that would uh, not be wise. Uh, How many players slick. are you gonna start with? Six. Six. Okay. Are, are you gonna start on the field? Oh, I'll be starting on the field. Is it called the field or court? It's a court. Fuck. Okay, thank you for your words. Good luck. Farley. Thank you, Malia. Farley, can we see some of the words? Are, are you rooting for Team uh, team uh, OTK today or, or Team Warriors? Me. He's, he's, oh, he's flustered. Yeah, he's flustered. Okay. He's, he's really nervous. Okay, well, thank you. Got it. Got it. Would you just look at this? Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna, we're gonna get a word with the ref after, right after the national anthem. So let's try to group up these streamers again. I know it's difficult. Nick, can you get your team for the national anthem? What? Can you find the team for the? Can you get the team yeah. for the national anthem? Where you wanna line up at? Right here. Can you call for them too? Hey. I'm tired of being big bitch. National anthem, line up. Let's go. I'm tired of being big bitch. Oh, yes. We can do it. Yes. yes. Apparently they can kick. I just heard it from Austin. They can kick. Judge, oh, no, what's it called? Coach. Yeah. What do you think? I think it looks, it's very obvious who's going to win here today. So. Okay. Yeah. Who, uh, there's not really much else to be said there. What's your secret weapon? I mean, the guy who's not wearing the outfit. We got That's him straight from the set of Top Gun. 
right there. He's gonna go in there with his A game. He's gonna tear it up. This guy, he hits the slit. Pussy, he hits a lot of it. So, hey guys. Hey, it's all looking good. <laughs> okay, I, I think it's working. Uh, Afghans, can you please come here for the national anthem? One of our surprise guests today, or for, surprise from last week, the MVP. The surprise MVP is, is going to sing a national anthem as soon as we can line everyone up. But I will give you the microphone for now, and then you can just take over for me just really quick. Yeah, I got yeah. it. No problem. Thank you. Just really quick until they're there. Thank you. So last time I was here, it was a really transfer for transformational moment for me. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional just thinking about it because it just feels really good to be invited back. Um, Lois sees. To talk about other players. I love all the players. Austin chose me. The beef is now squashed. Okay, because there's never beef to begin with, and he's going to be the best captain. Red team has to be worried. I'll say it, because um, I see no coordination, and Nick is on their team. So that's worrisome. But I think it's going to be a good game overall. I saw them practicing, and I think it's going to be great, guys. Austin, is the beef squashed? Uh, there was never any beef. I'm very happy for him. He's really happy for me. You can hear it in Very his happy. voice. Be Super happy. He, it. he didn't want this, to be honest. You think he deserved the MVP? I'm very happy for him. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, take it away with the national anthem. Okay. We don't have any music. Good luck. I mean, no music? It's a cappella? Okay. Some of the best songs have been sung a cappella. <laughs> you do not get near this trophy. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet Okay, what did you think of this abomination? Which abomination? The, uh, the All singing? of it. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think we are we can expect more. We can expect a lot more, and it's going to get a lot worse. Who do you think is going to win today? I did pick the right one last time. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Blue. Oh. I think I'm going to go with Blue. He, he doesn't believe in you. What the hell, man? <laughs> you know what? You know what? I looked past him. I looked past him when I looked at Red. I'm gonna go red. We're gonna go red. Okay, okay, yeah. They do have the most women, and this is a women's sport. Right, guys? Woo! We yeah! Red then. Yes, yeah. we're definitely gonna be pulling for red. Can we do a coin flip for uh, who serves, starts? Captains, please. Who's my captains? Austin. Tech top. Okay. Do you wanna give a. Uh, if you could describe volleyball in two sentences, what would, how would you describe it? Volleyball is fun, volleyball is great. The rules. I meant the rules. <laughs> <laughs> no rules. Sorry, I'm by that. Three hits, get it over the net. Uh, using any part of your body to make it happen. Uh, Only one hit at a time per person. Legs, feet. Legs, feet, all chest, of it. It all counts. Head. head. Oh, all yeah. of it. Yeah. Head. All of it counts. Okay. It's all good. Head. head. Okay. Who wants to call it? Uh, I got this. I got uh, black and I got blue. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to flip. If it lands blue up, uh, tails. you get to choose. Okay. If it lands okay. black up, you'll get to choose. Okay, sure. The choices sure. are which direction you're going and who serves first. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna catch it. I'm not gonna flip it. Okay. Okay. That's me. Oh. That's you. Okay. What's the better one to pick? No, don't tell me. Tell me. Usually direction, but you don't know which direction yet. Because we haven't played yet. Left. So take the ball first. Oh, I'll take serve, the ball first. Serve first. Going left. All right. Okay. So right I'm gonna go okay. whatever he didn't do. Can we get a? Good luck out there. Hey. Good luck. Help again. Help again. Help again. We're ready when you are. 
All right, let's do it. Yay! <laughs> and we're gearing up today. Oh, hell. Uh, wait, go ahead. Take it away. We've got a legendary showdown between live streaming's most capable bodies. That's right, the red team, led by Tectonathan, the Eggman, the Big Bird, Chance, Champagne Pop, and Morris, the arm collector, Ms. Kiff, Brick Pollum, Lil Bro, Extra Emily, and Emma Rue. I think that we have a lot of frontline power here on the red team, and they're starting with the serve. So can we get the ace out of chance right from the start? That's the question. Now we have on our left side attacker there, we've got none other than Austin Show. Now that shows me that they're trying to find a way to get the ball in the general direction of Austin so he can just spike it as hard as possible. In typical Austin fashion, he is a giver, ladies and gentlemen, and he's going to give and give and give. Now the real question here as fan is where are the line judges? We're going to have a lot of questionable calls with a sole referee, and I think that makes me feel a little nervous um, well, for the audience. I, I mean, look, listen, I, I, I'm, I, these are honorable men we got here, honorable men and women. I, I don't really expect them to uh, lie or really blur those lines. To Chance with the early oh, ace. Oh, there we go. A points on the board for red team, but can we get a line judge just to kind of clarify? Let's well, see what he'll do again. Is, it's right there, that white line right there. Oh, a chance. chance with another ace. Chance he Morris. Is showing the X factor from behind the line. The big man. I mean, he. I think he's going right for the first two early picks to to go ahead and show. Hey, we ain't scared. We ain't scared, brother. He's trying to. He's trying to attack who they think they are or their best players. So that's that's really what I like to see there. Incredible job by Chance Morris. The confidence coming in. We won't call that an ace, but we certainly got a kill out of that there. What a great play from Chance once again. Jelly Peanut going for the dig and um, only finding dirt. No gold. And hold on. We've got a hit. And we got our first volley. Very big. Right over the net. Are we going to get a setup? No. Oh, they did hit the oh. net. Oh, Austin that Show. Is, that is illegal touching, I believe. That is illegal touching on the defense. And uh, fortunately... It's another point for Red. Red you prevails again. On that. Oh, but we finally have a okay. shift in possession. Blue team will be given the opportunity here. None other than the big Billy Butter showing us what he's capable of. And the way he's moving that ball around tells me he's got enough of that homoerotic energy from that Top Gun scene to take us into maybe another point. Hold on. Absolutely. And Red's taking back over. You know, is hey, you had Red had four, they gave it up, now they're taking it back, okay? And that's just, that's lot, what I like to see. You know, we, we might lose one after four, but as long as we're getting it back, that's what's important. I like that. Sir, are we sure that was in the line? Okay, wait, hold on. And I, it looks like that'll actually be a lost point in the event that they rule that, but it seems that the ball's not in play. So, um, you know, Red getting a lot of successful volleys back over the line there. Um, all right, right to Afghans. We've got a good volley there. Are we going to get any setups for a real hit? That's the question. Oh, Afghans taking it down with a kill right to the hardwood. Showing us what MVP caliber play looks like, and he's going right for the taunt. He might be getting a little too comfortable, but like all streamers are moved to Austin, they just kind of assume it's all good. Let's go with Jelly Peanut there on the serve. And he and sends that, that right out to right field. That is, uh, I mean, that, that's horrible. I mean, that's a foul ball right there, I believe. And uh, we have a position change to uh, to the red team, the offense. You know, it's tough to see. One assumes Jelly Peanuts just doing too much work trying to balance that colossal ass. And it is very difficult for the man to, uh, you know, orient his upper body in space. But we have a good volley here. Um, none other than Billy Butter there playing at Libero, really moving the ball around. We love to see that kind of defensive specialist coming in. And that's going to be a tilt point for the blue team. Solely propagated by none other than the Golden Boy. 
Well, unfortunately, what we saw there was uh, we, we saw, once again, Tectone was disappointed by his teammates. I mean, he, he really set them up for success there, and unfortunately, they did not come through. And another point for the blue team. That's right, showing us what he's capable of on that left attack. Austin Show really delivering another solid thrust into the hardwood. Caroline setting up Afghans. And the ball is going to be dead. That's right, guys. That is a great volley. Good team play with the assist from Caroline Kwan. The yeah, I, mean, I, I, I really like what we saw there. I really did like what we saw there. I mean, the, the back and forth, but unfortunately, red team did not come through. Uh, but that's okay. I'm interested if we're going to start seeing some more interesting defensive rotations there. Um, Tectone keeping the ball alive. And with Pollum breaking it right into the net. The only time we're going to see him hit a target today is when the target's unintended. That is another blue point team. Oh, that's a great job by Nick Pollum. I knew, I knew Nicholas had it in from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, we don't want to hit that net, S fan. This is not basketball. I mean, that's good. That's good stuff, man. Two points. Blue team capitalizing on the blunders of red, really demonstrating incompetence despite the verticality they have. Will volleying it over. Can we get a good set there? It's looking like Will's showing us what a defensive specialist really has to do to keep the ball in play. Britt setting up Austin Show. And it's not going to be another point for Blue. See, I, I, Red, Red's losing their damn mind here. You know, Red's losing their damn mind. They got it. They got it. Get settled. You know, they got settled. You know, they, they got six. Okay, they got six. Red team's got six on set one, but uh, they, they really got to come back around here and not let Blue take cold. <laughs> and Mizkip going right for the heart. Perhaps there's some latent frustration with Tectone that we're not seeing, but he spiked that right into his solar plexus, looking for blood. Yeah, I mean, going from the uh, from, going from the spike all the way from backcourt, uh, I don't know if that was the best play for Mizkip, but it's pretty impressive. Well, you know, they're going to start calling him the soul collector soon with the way he's going for cardiac arrests. Mm, absolutely. And Keeping the ball alive. Tectone looks like that was a bit over the line there, but they're going to move that with a red point. This might be indicative of some collusion. We're unsure. The one thing that we can be sure of is that Emma, Emma Roo seems to have lost faith in her team, transitioning over to the blue team's bench, just kind of trying to blend in, maybe be forgotten about. Billy Butter with the butter fingers, an absolute whiff. And that's a, that's a big play by the red team. I mean, you can see the curve. You can see the spin that he had, the back spin on that ball. Uh, that was a hell of a serve by uh, Mr. Kiff there. And over the well, line, that's going to be a blue team point. It seems as if this game is going to be decided by whoever serves and is uh, really just able to get the ball over the net. The uh, total lack of understanding and ineptitude on both sides here is really making it a matter of who is giving the other team the opportunity to fuck up. And with that, sir, we are going to see exactly what I just said come into play. And on that third play, he their net and does not. See, what we I'd like to see there is, that, you know, even if there's three hits, I I'd like to see them keep playing it through. And hopefully the referee makes a mistake. Backtone really not using his height here in the ways that he should. Can we get a good setup? There we go. Caroline with the other assist. She is playing the back line splendidly with a bunch of great digs. Afghans with some great digs on the form as well. Um, that's most of his content as well. Just kind of dig after dig. So we know he's well practiced at digging at streamers. Austin Show showing us some of that, that, that lateral movement. A real athlete there on the front lines. But is there an injury that we have to yeah, mind? It looked, like he, it looked like he tweaked his ankle a little bit there. That may be an injury timeout that may be called. What was, uh, what was that? Mr. Show seems unwilling to take time off, but he is bracing at that left leg. Perhaps yeah, it's, it's good, time man. for uh, maybe a massage. Yeah, I think at this age, you got to be careful about how you uh, how you go about your business. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a tweak of a previous injury. You know, and pushing pushing 30, 40 years old. I think that could happen in any day now. So, so Jelly Peanut really not minding his defensive position there. Austin showing 
just how high he can fly, ladies and gentlemen. A little too close to the sun, not his first time really getting up there. Afghans showing proper form there. Um, going for height, maybe something to confuse his opponents a tad. Jelly with another improper dig. Would love to see him go from below rather than above. He's kind of just batting the ball directly into the hardwood. Perhaps we have a bit of a sleeper agent. Perhaps he is indeed the imposter. Yeah, I mean, that was a, that, that was a hell of a play. Uh, I, I really didn't know what to expect there, but I thought Minsky did a great job returning it. What a cut that was! Oh, but it seems as if the ref is okay. He admits oh, he his gave fault. The point. See, I, see, I think the ref shouldn't. Yeah, you know, if the ref gets involved, hey, he's got to be. I think it counts. In my opinion, I think that should have counted for the red team. What? That was returned by Miss Kiff. All right, great Hell volleys. A... That is not a point. That is over the line, sir. That's blue team. And Tech Tim yes, sent indeed. it all the way over to Mexico. That was a hell of a hit. A Cinderella story here as they are really demonstrating what the power of team play can bring. What but what a, a great set. Tech Tone really showing just how well he can juggle the eggs. Absolutely, and it gives them the point. So they got the ball back. They're, they are on offense, so let's see what they set up here, and they're going to huddle up and uh, see what they got going for them. Hell of a Tech -tone, job. Tech Tone surprising really the world. Done a good job. Mm -hmm. Surprising the world with a soft touch. Most were expecting a bad take and a gruff voice, but instead he's playing smooth jazz on the front line, really leading that red team attack. Back to a nigh tie. Let's see what Lil Bro has in store for us today. Let's see it right I wouldn't here. expect him to, to miss, but let me tell you something, going with a safe serve and keeping the ball alive, Lil Bro really showing what a defensive dig can look like here. Tech Tone with the spike! Tech Tone using that height to his advantage. That's a hell of a play there, Tech Tone. Hell it took of a play there three run-throughs of IQ for him to get that move down, but let me tell you something, all the reruns have worked in his favor. Incredible, incredible play. I mean, having somebody with that kind of height up front is a huge advantage here in the sport. Will, the ultimate Libro today. The amount of digs wow, he's registered for his team. Hell of a job. That was incredible. That's incredible. I don't, hell, I don't know. I, I ain't never seen nothing like that. That was, that was something else. Let me tell you something. Will Neff has registered more digs for his team today than I did for Eric's hole. It yeah, is well. absolutely staggering. Does Jelly have what it takes to get it over the net? He does indeed. Squeaks leading the charge at middle blocker here. And he volleys a little too far, much like he took things a little too far on January 6, 2021. With the yeah, immediate really sub out. It looks as though Austin Show is going to uh, take care of, uh, he's going to, uh, you know, nurse whatever it is has happened there. Uh, I, I believe that there's a bit of wound that uh, he might need to get field dressed. Um, so don't be surprised if he comes in looking a little different. Oh, and Tecto with another kill. Momentum is swinging in favor of the red by the Big Egg himself. The red team is rising again. That's what I like to see. Incredible oh, job. No. Incredible job by the red team. Take him back over. Tech Tone with again. another big play. A Tech Tone formidable. really made a big comeback this week, mm -hmm. which is exactly what I expected to see. That height I mean, coming in playing a huge factor, huge factor. With nothing but a flick of the wrist, he is commanding his team's play today. What great volleys from the blue. However, Afghan seems to lack a little bit of that finesse we're getting from the Reds' front line. And there at left attack, I mean, he's responsible for really delivering. It's a shame we're not seeing it, Chad. It is a shame we're not seeing it. Now, we there, call man. that the Rockabilly Slide going for a little bit more of an advanced dig. Will, a true showman, getting a little lost in the performance, losing sight of the function. I mean, that's really just what, what uh, uh, Will Neff brings to the table. That's what I mean, that's, that brings to the table. That's athleticism. That's, that's, that's being multifaceted. I just uh, say that's, a, that's the streamer mentality. Mm -hmm. All performance, no function. 
Mm -hmm. Boston Show trying to change the narrative, but Afghans hitting it right into the net. Hitting auto mod, really not being inventive enough with what he's coming into the game with. But really champagne pop. I mean, that looked like that, that was so strong. It looked like shield mode to me. That was not good. No, sorry. And let me tell you something. They are returning the favor in exchange of fuck ups. Um, something streamers are particularly adept at. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know where it is she decided to serve that one from, but that's going to be another red point, and this set is coming to a close soon. This red, red team looks like they're running away with this. Blue team has made some adjustments, as you can see. They moved squeaks away from Afghans, which, uh, you know, due to the, the history there with January 6th, I ain't surprised. And he keeps it in the line, question mark? Is that a blue team point? I wasn't able to see the ruling. I'm going to try and win this on serve. I did not it see that. It looks like it was a non-point. I am befuddled. Billy Butter here with the clean serve as he's so known for. And Afghan holding back on the on the return. No dig in sight. This could be game point here. Does he find the split in the defense? No, he does not. Chance Morris, not able to see in that third dimension, not able to get enough verticality. He is a responsible for the blunder. Like that, word. Mm -hmm. that could lead to a total swing here. However, now we have none other than Britt, a big fan of cannons, not a big fan of the actual ball. What then? Okay, nope, she's going to retire right back to the front attack. I'm not sure what their rotation is, but that's going to be a red team point. And that's it. Oh, oh I like roll that back. Wow, blue team holds on by the skin of their teeth. I mean, they got a chance here to come back and, and take this thing away. Now, I believe they got to win by two points. So if, uh, if, if they go five straight, they're going to need to go six straight. They're going to need one more in order for them to, uh, to win this first set. Let me tell you something. This referee's running more interference today. That's not going to be a good joke. Alice Austin Show coming back in here. He, I believe this is Austin's, not his first serve, but one of a few here. He's got what it, and he finds the split in the red team's defense, closing the gap, putting them back in fighting range. And Austin Show, I mean, he's that, that, that's a hell of an athlete right there. He's got a hell of an arm, seeing the way he can send it downfield. They're putting their best players in to be able to make some plays here. And a return. And with a great dig, that's going to be Will Neff. And he volleys it over the line. But it seems as if Afghans has miscalculated. And that's it for the first set. Red team takes it away. That's a hell of a job, red team. Hell of a job. And, and that works for the audience, as I believe we were all kind of uh, counting on an early red lead, um, you know, uh, just, um, you know, as kind of a, not, not, not a parlay, but, but, you know, a part of the first act of the story, right? Yeah, I mean, that uh, is, the hero has to be met with immeasurable odds, you know? So now the real question is, how are they game planning? How are they on the blue team? overcoming their lack of vertical advantage there. Tactone dominating center net, really pounding back down on the blue attack. It is going to get ugly if they don't find a way to answer for that. Maybe, if I was to say, distributing a little to the left or right, but that's asking streamers to share the spotlight. Do they have it in MS fan? I, I really don't think so. I mean, I think sometimes it's just the, the cookie's going to crumble the way that it goes. And uh, that's something that I've, I've said for many years. My father told it to me. My, my father's father told it to him, and yeah, even before right that, my father's father's yeah. father Will. told it to him. So uh, sometimes that cookie just crumbles right down the middle, and uh, really it just crumbles right into Tectone. And, uh, you know, he's got that height. He's got that big advantage. He's got that big reach. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's really able to go there and play defense and uh, really be a big factor for the red team here. That's a massive, massive height advantage you can see between both teams. Now, I take offense to the concept of the cookie crumbling over Tectone. I know for a fact he's been monitoring his diet. That man is looking slim. He's looking lean. And I think that's a lot of what we can see here coming into play here. He's got the endurance to stay on the front line and monitor those blue team volleys, the lack of precision. It's been a total, I mean, total victory 
for Tech Tech. Really demonstrating what he can do when not giving a terrible take behind a camera. This is kind of a natural habitat, we could say. I'm oh, no. here right now. What are, what are they talking about? Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what. Some Star Forge audio here. Maybe we can get a little bit of satellite audio here. What they're saying. All right. So they're talking about rotating, which is already gonna be Tectone's worst take, as they take him away from the center net, and uh, this team is uh, crumbling, like the aforementioned cookie. They are now eating it, ladies and gentlemen, eating it. That rotation, while mind you, absolutely essential in regulation may be uh, the very thing that starts to put that team behind. If they're planning on putting Chance Morris there at center net, I think that they're in for a rude awakening. What he's shown us is his ability to find the seam in the opposing team's defense, really deliver the serve, and, uh, you know, uh, go where uh, no one else is willing to go. That's the real charm there. Uh, but putting uh, putting their tallest in the back line may very well be, I, I can't believe I was just applauding this man. Well, time for Blue Team to really show what they've got. What are we going to have in store as far as the response is concerned? Um, Nick, still hell-bent on trying to find a way to avenge his basketball performance, is um, dribbling in a way that uh, really just isn't relevant to the sport at all. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's being multi-talented and really showing. This is what I always tell my players, and this is what I tell the parents. I said, look, we want you all playing multiple sports. I want multi-sport athletes, and you can see how that really plays in for Nick Serve right there, getting them that point. And it looks as if the blue team strategy of picking on Emaru and putting the ball right at Emaru's feet, face, and, 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 and just general vicinity um, may start to pay off here. Caroline, oh, that to be cool. fair, that did not hit the net, sir. That did not hit the net. That's what yeah, we call an underserve in, yeah, uh, in, in, in Japanese street leagues, which I am very familiar with for completely normal research purposes. That is an entirely fair play. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something you'd see out of, out of a damn movie right there. That was impressive. E-Rob here showing us with a, a very conservative underhand serve, probably petrified of screwing up. And Austin Show with the kill! Mm, unfortunately, I mean, oh, that was up. my kind of serve. I'll tell you what, boy, but... No, unfortunately, it didn't pan out for him. I have, I am, I am astounded at the sheer vertical ability there of Austin Show, really showing just how capable he's of getting up. And that's going to be a double touch, bad one for the Eggman. But they got him back in his natural habitat on the front line, and that's going to do, uh, do them, do them some good. Ooh. A rare blunder from Billy Butter. What a catastrophe for Blue. They're tying that up early, and you really want to see them go ahead and get that leg up while they have Emmer on the front line and not Tectum. But it seems as if that's going to be a tough one for him. Afghans with the volley, but Mizkif with the return. Going back and forth. And a red team point. Yeah, I really Let like how those you. guys went and, and they set that edge there, really, uh, and took it downfield. I mean, just the way that they broke off that release and went ahead and scored that, that was, that was something else. You know, man, they were going back and forth better than Sear does with your mother, chat. But let me tell you something. Every good volley has to end in a kill. Someone is winning. Look at this. That, look at that pass right there. That's a full. Is that Austin. illegal? I believe that's illegal. I, unfortunately, it didn't pan out for him. A little too far to the right. Unfortunate move there from Austin Show, someone who's really demonstrated the willingness to get up there and return the favor for the first time in his young life. And oh, right back no. into the net from Tectone. A bit of a miscalculation there. Perhaps the pressure's getting into his own head. Perhaps he's realizing for a moment that this is his wheelhouse. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was just a miscalculation. You know, he went too far to the right, and unfortunately, that didn't pan out for him. He got himself in trouble by doing that. Weeks with a dynamite serve. Where does he get it? Where does he get the ability to shoot with a lot of velocity and precision and then go a little too far? Man, oh man, does he just line the January 6th joke up over and over again. He really does. He really does. Wait, joke. 
So, Emeru, with a, you know what? I don't know what they explained to her. I think that that was maybe a precision hit. Hold on. Are you serious, sir? A step-in call providing a handicap to a totally capable player. Now, this has to really get under your skin. What do you think about these participation right. trophies? I mean, I'll tell you what. This is one of those things that back whenever I was playing, in my playing days, we didn't have this. Look, look, at, that. look at that horse shit right there. Was that, that referee interference? That, that was, he was participating. He was participating in a way that shouldn't be illegal. It shouldn't be legal. You know how I feel about illegal, okay? You don't... You don't it, we, we don't want things being illegal here. We follow the law, okay? And and that was not lawful play by the referee. Unbelievable. Now, it's your job here in office, in, uh, back at the desk, to avoid reading into subtext. So we're just going to look into what it takes to win a game, and that's playing within the confines of the rule set before you. All right? You know, so I was just going to say, I ain't seen PayPal used since that, that well since Killian in my face. Look, this is not like Twitch. You don't get banned and come back to more viewers. You lose games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. A big take here from Tectone. Can he find the seam? Can he find the weakness in the blue defense? Oh, no! Will, with a great dig, that's up to his team to set up the spike. A shame. You really hate to see these kind of blunders happen in real time. Total freedom. A big mistake to give him. Over the line or within. Afghans with a miscalculation. A completed other. Wait. That is a red team point. That's right. You can't lose when you got freedom, son. I like that. That's good stuff, Tectone. Now you see, that's what happens when you get glasses that don't fucking work. There's no glass in them. We can see it clearly. Mm. Oh, that's what them kids are doing these days. They're doing them damn glasses with no glasses in them. Oh, good Lord, I don't know. He lost his head there and he lost his hat. That was, that was oh, no Jeff good by, uh, by Eric. Wait until you find out about the glasses Soda Poppin' wears. They show you titty. What? You got them He's doing glasses. it. With, with the trophy as a taunt, perhaps trying to get into his own team's head? I think he forgot. The only person who cared about that trophy is playing just to the left of him. Yep, Jelly right. Peanut with, a, with an appropriate dig, but the response from Red is really digging a deeper and deeper hole here for Blue. You really hate to see it. You hate to see it for Chad. You hate to see it. You know what I don't hate to see? I, I don't hate to see 7-11. That's a great score right there. I mean, I, I love me some 7-11. Hold on. Good volleys between the two. Billy Butter kissing the net, but keeping the play alive. Willem Defoe Nefferson able to keep the volley going back and forth, carrying this match, much like he has everyone in frame stream. Mm. A true support player asking nothing for himself. He only cares about keeping the stream alive, not taking the stream for himself. And that is out. Good Lord. Thank you for helping Red prevent 9-11. Thank you, Lord. Will? Can he find it? I feel as though this is going to be a big return from Will. Let me tell you something. An undisputed MVP from Blue Team so far. He's responsible for just about every coherent volleyball play we've seen thus far. But, you know, you hate to see the leak. In a true psychological insight here. There's not a lot of passing going on, especially from the big Miz. Yeah, I'm, I'm not he seeing... Sees the there's certain players that we can see... You know, when they get that ball, they're sending it over. I mean, they, they right pass back. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see, and it's a good thing to keep note of here, who's the real giver? Right back on the ground. It seems as though that could end up being red teams unraveling. What we see on blue team are a bunch of unselfish players. And although it's led to a few blunders, and perhaps there just isn't quite the same level of ability, what we see here is a willingness 
to share. A willingness to go back and forth. Great dig, and Will with the volley, keeping the play alive. Right back into the net. Oh, unfortunate, that was unfortunate. That was a lot of effort there. I like that effort, but unfortunately it did not pan out for him. I mean, that's one thing you, you, you got to know. Some of these guys, you got you to play in your zone. When you're playing out of your zone, you're going to force somebody else to get out of their zone. And that's a blue team point with a missed block from the big man. Even in the odds here, we're going to see maybe a 13-13 here if Billy Butter's able to find the seam. The golden boy. Going you. Why he's so golden. Willing to keep the game close so that I, and, and I mean... We are on the edge of our seat. Yeah, we are. We are all of us. All of us are on. The, everybody at home and, and us in the in the in, in the bathroom or in the uh, in the office here. So. Uh, right on the edge. Why do you say I? Why do you say I? What, what do you think of I? Here we go. Well, again, we are the conduit for chat. I don't have any stake in this. I can't make it any squeeze. Good. Yeah, squeeze. That was some that was some dog shit squeeze. I don't know what the hell that was. They got it. They got to figure something out there for blue team. Not that I'm complaining, of course, but. There's nothing I love more than a game right on the edge. A oh, true Lord. edge. And what a blunder there from Tecto. Get good, kid. Can I get that in chat? Well, well I don't know. Well, why are you cheering against red team? What's going on? St listen, red team. I cheered for a good game. Blue team's behind us, man. Well, I mean, that's close. It's already a good game. Why are you, why are you picking sides? Right now, I see 1-0. They've got 100% of the points right now. That's not fair. It is. Given it, your color well, affinity, hey, I wouldn't fair, expect you to know it. Listen, fair is fair. Fair is, is, fair is just. Just is fair. Okay, we don't hand out participation trophies here. It's not going to be 1 1 no matter what. No, we we're keeping them alive with their head just as we predicted in pregame. Really? Sacrificing the noggin um, for uh, really just any amount of clippable content. And a good volley there. And to no surprise, and setting up the good hit. Caroline with the kill! Wow, what a play there. I mean, red team's really got to get it together. I mean, they fell out of their zones, but that was, that was a hell of a play. Hell of a volley oh. there. That was impressive. That was an entertaining volley right there. I love that. We've got Billy Butter and Killer Quan. She's a killer. Quan, let's go five. All right, Austin Show, what do we got? And an immediate volley from Mizkiff, unsurprising. Jelly Peanut. It seems as if he's kept his hand in that jelly jar a little too long. His fingers are looking sticky. Every attempt at a dig and a volley is just going right back down to the ground. You know, I remember the last time I had sticky fingers. We used to have sticky fingers. That was a call we made on onside kicks. We said, hey, sticky fingers, sticky fingers. We get guys out there, get that ball back, and go ahead and keep them going to go score again. You know what I'm saying? You know, and here's the other thing. The funny thing, as fan, sticky fingers is blue team's favorite play. Mm -hmm. That's um, sticky fingers is what happens right after the Top Gun volleyball scene. Right with a volley, Will Neff keeping plays alive. And Caroline Kwan. Oh, that is looking over the line. Mr. Official, it is not a time to shrug. He says he don't know. He ain't got no idea. Do we have a replay on this? Let's get, let's get us a replay here in a moment. It seems as if they are pleading their case. Everyone on their knees in front of the referee like he's Mizkiff with his door closed. And they're going with a blue team point. Nick establishing order, maybe for the first time ever. Afghans going, going with a safe underhand into the abyss. What a devastating blunder from an MVP caliber player. Now we do got, uh, we had the opportunity to get Din Dean Blandino on the line here over in New York, but uh, he didn't answer. So we're just gonna keep on playing it. Billy Butter, let me tell you something. The big guy, the high flyer, the wingman, Will Neff. Everywhere on the court today, everywhere on the court and everywhere in our hearts and uh, everywhere in your mother's bedroom. 
Let me tell you a thing or two, and that is um, not going to register. Who? You hate to see the wind leave the sails like that. You know, you get on a good roll with a solid volley. You hope that the serve isn't the limiting factor. And that's going to be over the line. Yeah, unfortunately, turnovers can really do that to a team. You know, turnovers can really do that to a team. If you're going out there throwing interceptions and you're fumbling the football, then, I mean, you're really going to take the wind out of the sails quick. You know, one could argue today the real MVP has been the environment. And no, I'm not talking about the chat. I'm not talking about the audience. I'm talking about just general boundaries, the net, the sideline, the back line. I think that has materialized more points for both teams than any one individual effort. And a failed dig. Again, like, uh, putting Tecton in the back forgot. line. Yeah, I think he forgot where he was there on the field. I think he thought he was playing... Uh, Thought he was playing defensive line. They put him at safety. A blue tide crashing over right now. Caroline with a masterful dig here. And can Billy Butter get that over? No, it does not seem as if he can. A little bit of butter fingers today from the big guy. But that's all right. We're looking at a bit of a two-point lead here. Red crawling it back until Lil Bro gives another granny serve. Why is he afraid of going overhand? Perhaps the risk of blunder is just a bit too high. Right over the net, and that's a blue point! Again, chat, let this be a reminder. The only true blunder is when the net returns the ball, or, chat, when you fail to try again. Never uh -huh. give up. Uh -huh, that's right, when you give up, that's Always when you lost. take the parlay. Uh -huh. um, all right, here we go. A little bit of risk, a whole lot of reward. Emaru keeping it alive. Oh, so you got to have some confidence. You got to have some communication. You got to have some confidence there, Red Team. I mean, we saw oh, that was a great setup by Emaru, and really any one of the three could have gone and taken it. I probably would have given that to soda popping. But uh, you, you got to call for it. You got to talk, okay? You got you to call for the ball. Now, the real story of the night is just how far it seems Britt's been willing to go to avoid dealing with the sphere. Perhaps this is an act of denial, but it seems as if even in the real crunch time, when it really counts, on match point, for instance, when the ball is volleyed right to Britt, she finds a way to somehow whiff it. I can't help but think it's an inability to reckon with the fact that things might indeed be round. And a blue point into a blue set. Again, right off the blunders of the above. The lubricated fingers, the silicone lube, the whole barrel showing right now on Champagne Poppins' fingers, really turning himself back into a diet root beer. Wow. Now, can they keep their heads up as they move into what's going to be perhaps a match-defining set? I mean, one, one, one big issue that I saw there from Red Team, and I, and I really didn't like that. I, I, I was really upset by the way that th these guys were playing out of their damn zones, okay? When you're playing zone coverage, okay, you got to go and you got to sit out there and you got to talk, okay? You, some guy comes into your zone, makes a banjo call. You, you don't be a damn hero, okay? Guys are going out there and you're trying to make every damn play. You, you don't play the whole court. Okay. I couldn't you agree one more. Spot, you got one spot, you got one job, and you're trying to run out there and you're trying to send it over time. Sit in your damn lane. It's a damn team sport. Okay. That ball's coming to you. It's coming to you. You move a little bit. But when you start running to other people's lane, you're forcing other people to come into yours. Okay. So you got to stay well, in your damn territory and you got to play the damn game. Aspen. The, the important thing for you to remember here is that um, when we're talking about the game of the streamer, it's all about uh, getting right out of your lane and forcing everything back onto yours. They're only going out of their lane to bring things back into their lane. That is the way of the game. However, what we really have to consider today, S-Fan, is how are they going to take what seems to be lower, diminishing spirits, and bring that right into a little bit of an elevation. We've got yeah. Elevate. S-Fan, what can you tell us about Elevated, the show presented by Progressive? Well, let me tell you, Elevated. This is something that them OTK folks are doing, okay? You're going to go ahead and you're going to get some of these uh, young folks, some of these up-and-comers, they're going to have an opportunity to go in and apply to, to get on this show. And it's going to be a, a gauntlet-style show where they're going to go from week to week and uh, on different folks' channels. And they're going to do a series of events, a series of... Uh, a series of uh, challenges 
to see uh, who's going to make it all the way to the end. Some folks are going to get eliminated, never to be seen again. And it's all thanks to Progressive. Somebody's going to come out on top after uh, after a few weeks. It's going to be incredible. A real Texas-style showdown brought to you by Progressive and Allied Esports. Remember, we had to actually bat off a son. It is presented by Progressive. Not yes. progressive. He is far too big for the show. Now, however, if you are an underviewed and undervalued streamer, which pretty much all of you are, everyone is, um, this is an opportunity to get your moment in the sun, um, which, you know, everyone's just begging for a true progressive move. A few people deciding who gets to be watched. Now, here's the big thing, S fan. We have an opportunity to be a conduit for the ultimate showdown coming forward, all right? And before we move into it, I'd like to thank none other than Starforge Systems at StarforgeSystem.com for giving us the opportunity to broadcast this wonderful Absolutely. showdown, a true cutthroat, one could even say nice Cinderella story of Blue Team's triumph, inevitable triumph. Now, I'm happy to say my face and my voice is being brought to you by none other than an elite creator build one of the very best in market and let me tell you something that 4090 hums as i try to mine more bitcoin from it it hums and there wait well i, I don't know what them bitcoins are but i do know starforge pcs like i said i, I ain't used one too uh one too many pcs before but i got me a starforge and it really was something else so i I don't know what's going on here. Starforge but... Systems, mm -hmm. the only PC good enough to get S-Fan to recognize the Cosmos. Let me That's tell you right. a thing or two. Absolutely. That's a real big triumph. So, before, I know that you guys are sick of hearing our voice. Let's get down to the better half. The real workhorse. The one that makes it all possible. None other than Malena. Wait, are we? Hello, I'm here with the best, best player today. Right? Here we have uh, Peach. Peach, you're doing great. How how long did it take you to make all those signs? Uh, thank you. It took me all of 30 minutes. By the way, I got cut from this. They didn't want me to play. You signed a waiver, so that sucks. <laughs> okay, thank you. Haha. <laughs> And we're gonna do the halftime show today, right? Yes, you and Jessica will be doing a halftime show. Special guest, Peach Stars, and Jessica right over here. Uh, Jessica! 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 Halftime show time. All right, so okay. today, me and Jess are professional cheerleaders, and we're here to show the red team how to get down and groovy. I'm literally with only here for Malena. Like, yeah! Yes! yes! We're gonna get fucked up later. Let's go, let's yeah, go. Yeah, that is true. Okay. We're here to show the red team how to get down and groovy with some good cheerleading uh, form. So okay. come this way. We're ready. Okay, we're ready. let's go. Man. Hey, red team, red team. Halftime show, come this way, red team. Emily, come on. <laughs> Let me send some pep in that step. All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you all some cheerleading moves. Are we yeah. ready? I'm ready, Yay. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. All right, so let's raise our hand if we're the three biggest guys in the group. Miss, Nick. All right, you're going to be our base because today we're going to do a human pyramid. Oh Yay. All right, Techie, get down on your knees. Oh, okay. Nick, why did Nick do that so fast? <laughs> All right, uh, Chance, you're gonna be right here. Put your knees right up here. I got knee pads. It's comfortable. Ah! Ah! God! Okay, Wait, okay who wants to get on top of me, Emily? Ah! Should Emmy and I go? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Emily. Emily. Uh, 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 yes. uh, 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 Come on! Uh, I, uh, somebody do you need a bit? I can't do this. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you get off? Can you get off my spine? Ah! No, I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're weak. Uh, no, you're on my spine, I can't bro. Do this. Finn, that's a maybe we should get someone lighter. Maybe Finn, I'm that's a maybe. really weird angle. I'm not gonna point. Okay. I got you. I got you. Oh god. Ah! Oh, fuck. I got you. Oh god. Ah! Why are you doing this to me? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Oh, T K. Oh T K. Okay, get off. Oh T K. Oh T K. All right, get off. Okay, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. We're going down. Ah! Oh my god, oh. Chance, get off! Oh. Yay. Chance, get off! Fuck you. And there's our <laughs> human pyramid! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. For our OTK oh. halftime show. Oh. Thank you for watching! Oh. Why? Okay. My back. Oh no, oh, no. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Our beautiful halftime show, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna. Do you want to cast it back? You guys want to cast it back to Espen and Wake? Espen and Wake, I hope you have a great time. All right, let's go ahead and get it back to you. Espen and Wake. Thank you so much for watching the halftime show. Oh, that was so professional. I didn't do it.
Uh, so, that was really something else. That really was. Um, and that was uh, that was probably one of the best halftime shows I've seen since uh, Michael Jackson in, in 1991. It was incredible. Now, I'll tell you what, the only thing I'm not surprised to see there is everyone fighting to get one up on the next person, really climbing that hill of human bodies to uh, stand at the top there. And that's the thing that, uh, you know, I, you love to see when we're in blood sport, volleyball, uh, a, a true game of war. You know, um, invented uh, to uh, resemble uh, the firing of arrows back and forth, I believe, um, by uh, actually none other than um, Austin streamers themselves. So really big win there to uh, observe not only our own tradition, but to do so in a way that's so true to form. Um, so a big thing here today, S-Fan, when we're looking at the second half here, we've got a bit of a momentum upswing here from Blue Team, which again, while also incredibly fortuitous for me, and by me, I mean everyone watching at home, um, what do you think that is going to say for the red team? And is this where we need to get the real glue players in on it? Do we need to get the extra Emily's, the big digs with the face? I'm talking pancake saves right on the hardwood, just skirting across the laminate, knocking that ball back into the sky. Listen, Wake, I, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what the hell you, you just said, but I will say this. Volleyball is a phenomenally physical game. It really is. It's a phenomenally physical game. And, uh, these guys got to go up there. They got to go out there and, and they got to play their heart sound. They got to put everything on the table. And if yeah. we don't see that, if we don't, if we don't go out there and we don't give the passion, the confidence, the belief, the faith, the mental and physical toughness that you need in order to win a damn game, then it, it just ain't going to work. It, you know, I mean, you can, you can go out there with, I don't give a damn. You can have your whole team to me, all state, all country, all world. I don't give a shit. Okay. What I care about is going out there and playing with passion and winning the damn game. And, and that's just what we got to see for, for either of these teams to take it home. I agree. You know, to put it in your terms, S man, we're really going to need a high flyer today, a real F-18 going right over the top. That's what that's what I think they're really looking for. You know, just like at the ball game that gets you cheering for the red, white, and the blue. Yeah, that's that's right. the game. Yes, sir, that's what, yes, so, so, you know, that's what we're looking for. We know the tanks do the work on the ground level, but we need the F-18s for morale. So yeah, I'm talking, do. who's going to be the F-18 today? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good, good. All right. So uh, who's going to be the F-18 for blue? Who's going to be the one to sell out, to show the team that while the going might get tough, there's always a little bit of spirit that can be brought back from the dead? Well, the real question is, can the tough get going? And that's, well, that's what I want to see happen right here. Will among the very toughest, and that's going to be an overshot from the red team, an immediate point uh, under the blue there. What a big, big start to the second half. Of course, of course. That I am very happy to see that. Ooh, Lil Bro going up. That was higher. Let me tell you something. Eric just jumped higher than the shed he built. That is a freaking compliment. Kind of. Yeah, so we're seeing, I mean, Tectone's got here in the backfield going deep. They're going to give him the ball, and he's going to send it. It's a hell of a pass. Okay, he overthrew. That looked like, damn, that looked like Jamarcus Russell out of LSU, man. I remember him. He, they, they thought he was going to be a phenomenal pick. Massive arm, huge arm, but ain't, ain't yeah. accurate to save his life. See, what Tectone just attempted to do there is what we call the uh, the, uh, the, the the tiger palm. Um, unfortunately, not a viable serving strategy, but he had to find a way to represent that weeb energy, the weeb spirit, the undying light. And Will Neff here showing us again why he is the looming MVP of this match when Blue Team inevitably wins. I mean, hell. I am... I, I think red team's got this in the bag. I mean, they came out and they, they, they had a good lead. You know, they had the one Oh set lead. And, uh, I mean, it, it, maybe if it gets stolen from them and that's, that's really the only way. The only way is that if they damn the blue team comes in and steals it from the red. Unfortunately for squeaks, this is a live game that cannot be reset. He's used to resetting on the first stage today. That's not going to cut it. His serve is his serve and he must live with the blunder. I, hell, I hate to say this, but it looks like the red team is, they've already, they've already lost their heads a little bit. You get, folks are out there, they're playing selfish. They're playing for themselves and they ain't playing for each other. They ain't, they ain't out there playing for their brothers, man. 
That's the problem. You got to go out there. You got to play for your brothers. You got to go out there and you got you got to give your brother who's lined up right next to you everything you got. You got to give him the whole inch. And, and they ain't doing that. They're going in. They're they're pushing folks out of each other's zones. They they're not playing as a team. Now see the problem is when you're only willing to give the inch but not take it. You got to be willing to guide the inch into the proper seam. And that's something that I think we're going to see issues on both sides of the court with. Um, some people just don't have what it takes to be the giver. Mm -hmm. And, and really there we have there a good, a, a actually solid volley from Britt. Maybe the first real contact she's made with the ball. And Will right over the line there to nobody. The absolute oh, yeah. lack of communication. No hey, one wanting to share that spotlight today. Communicate. That was not on Nick Pollum. I'll tell you that much. I know with the camera angles, you can see that. That that was who was on the left side, or on their right side. They should have come up for it. I mean, first off, they're completely out of position, completely out of position, and now they went the exact opposite. Now they're trying to play everyone else's zone. That nobody's playing their own zone. What a dig by Squeaks! Really laying it out, flattening the palm, getting what we would call in the sport a real pancake. And let me tell you something. I think this guy's loaded with batter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, red team's really got to come out here, and they have got, have got to go and play to their strengths, put folks in a position to make plays. Put that tech tone up there, defensive tackle, okay? Let that size advantage go in just like it came into play the first time. And, I mean, hell, that first set, they won that. Tech off of tech tone's back, tech tone really carried the team to victory on that first set. Since then, I don't know what happened to the teamwork on the red side. Well, what no we're seeing what is an absolute miscalculation, a classic blunder of assuming that if you can do one thing, you can do it all. We need to see more specialty on the field, more, 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 more precision with the game plan. But that's what happens when you got one side that's coached and another that's just kind of floundering. Austin Show. Finding the seam, but it seems as if little bro in the Libro position is doing everything he can to keep that ball alive. You love to see that willingness to do anything to not be made fun of. However, as with most things, it is inevitable. It is. It Austin is. Show, it is. a solid volley. Will Neff with the return. And that's a really strong exchange into an overshot. Nick Pollum going too far, a real pogo bat. Well, it hell, it looks like even the referee is getting involved with the cheerleaders here. You hate to see that kind of, uh, you know, a uh, lack of impartiality there. You want to see the ref uh, be, be really trying to take account of, of how the game should be played here and uh, maybe not giving people unnecessary advantages when they're completely capable. Yeah, I'm and, really curious to see how this one's going to play out, really. Well, we've got we've got what's 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 really just a growing blue lead here, much to the advantage of um, well, uh, I mean the, the the chat's experience, the blue team really taking it home for us here, and Billy Butter there with another return, and they're unable to keep that one alive, really slipping right out of Britt's fingers. What a shame! We call that momentum. It's good to uh, reiterate the physics behind the ball. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really not seeing how this one. Uh, I, I'm really not seeing how these folks are going to come out and and, and and turn this thing around. They got to turn this damn franchise around. You can't be playing like that, trying to send it over, playing, playing. You're not playing. It's not one man versus eleven, okay? It it just it just ain't one man versus eleven. You got to go out there and play as a damn team. And with a solid underhand serve, Afghans got the ball in play. The hardest thing to do in this sport. And it seems as if Squeaks, with a bit of a blunder, uh, you know, staying on the front lines, uh, whiffing all his shots, something he's known for. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. 
And a big serve from Soda. Right back to Erob, but Will Neff not willing to let it go gently into that good night. Erob right back with the return, and he keeps it alive. And squeaks with a kill. Is that in the line? It is. That was in. Wow. Hell of a play. That was a hell of a play. That was some good shit right there. Squeaks doing what he does best. Breaking ground with a big old smack. Keeping things divided. There it is, Will. And Will with a big back and forth. Caroline Killer Quan coming back right to the assist of Billy Butter. Dota might not have had to touch it, but he's going to do it anyway. And with Palum. Wow, boy, I'll tell you what. That, we ain't seen nothing like that since 1982. Standing it into the abyss. You hate to see that happen. You hate to see the turn of those tides. And an immediate return from Miz. Not even trying to set it up for his big left attacker right now in Tectone. But it seems as if that's going to be yet another blue point. A real runaway set right now. Almost doubling red team's output. You really want to see them turn this game around. Yeah, we got to see it. We got to see it. I mean, this game's been incredibly competitive so far. You know, in the first and second quarters. Uh, you know, we come out of halftime and here we are. You know, they're really running away with it in the third. Going just what she's capable of when she admits physics exists. Really trying to go for the deflection, getting the ball back on the other side and letting gravity do its work. Now, if I'm coach, what I do is I come in here and I call a timeout. They, they got a little bit of, they got a semblance of momentum here. Ball's back on their side. They're on offense. Call a timeout. Bring the team together. Get their heads straight a little bit. Now, it's on the team captain, Tectone, to gather his team's energy again and really show them what they can do when they work and assist them. Eric going with the cock return. It is unsuccessful. He tried to swing it up into it. And let me tell you something, all he left is with a little bit of pain. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. They say no pain, no gain. But at a certain point, when you got too much pain, you don't got any chance of gain. And that's really what we're seeing right here. Well, you know, a true masochist finding ways to make things unnecessarily difficult via incompetence. That is the way. Killer Quan coming in with a big serve here, getting it over the net. What then does he end? Squeaks with a big bat. But it seems as if he touched the net, went a little bit off sides and uh, crossed a line. Once again, what a shame. What then does El Burro have in him? And we'll see right here. And Austin Show sending it just past the line. And you know, you, what you love to see from Austin is just that he still has that energy. You know, that willingness to passion. keep hitting. The passion is, is, is the key. And that, that's really what uh, I talked about earlier. That's what I wanted to see from the red team. And that red team has been losing that passion. Just, yep, running out of steam here. Absolutely mm -hmm. damn loot. Not and that's going to be another blue team point off a massive hole in defense. Where were they? Probably closer to the camera. You don't want to miss that opportunity. Let's see right here. Let's see how this is going to play out. And solid volleys here. Austin Show. And tacked him right back into the net. It seems as if barriers and boundaries are our biggest obstacle. Go figure, crossing the line, going too far. The only thing holding these streamers back. Will Neff took the glasses off, showing the world that he means business in crunch time. What then do we get from the serve here from Mizkif? Perhaps the army breaks today is his own. Oh, and a little bit of a change-up. And it's a blue point, a miscalculation, an inability to read the third dimension. What a shame that is. He's playing this game like it's side profile. Guess what? We've got a whole other direction to account for. Now, I think it's going to take a daggum miracle. I mean, they got something called the rule of 14. It's... 
If you're within 14 points, you always got a chance. And hell, they're right now they're one touchdown away. They come out there, score, get an extra point. Well, unfortunately, they you know just got one on them. But there's plenty of opportunity here to come in and win this thing. You know, what you love to see from extra Emily here is the willingness to take the hit, showing the team that it's okay to stand in front of that ball. It's okay to have a little bit of a blunder as long as you return with a smile on your face. We're getting a rally in here. I wonder what they're saying. It's probably going to be a little hard to get that one through the microphone, but if we do have a chance, let's see if we can get a, get a listen. Looks like Ms. Giff was saying, honestly, we should just do this on my stream. I don't know how that's going to change the swing of things here, but you like to see some second thought. Perhaps there's bad juju. Oh, I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much as expected. That's pretty much as expected there from the red team. I mean, they, they really got to get stuff figured out. I mean, this is a team sport, and like I said, they got to go out there, and, and they really got to play better as a team. And a couple quick volleys here. Blue really showing the power of teamwork here in a way that we're just not seeing elsewhere. Does that stay in the line? I believe that was a red point. Ooh, it seems as if there's some indecision there. Atop the net. The absence of the line judge here. It looks like young Jeff is um, trying to hand him a clever tweet. Oh, that's a bribe. That's a bribe, of course. He's like, betting with the odds. What unfortunately, a coward. Unfortunately, Mr. Known. Washington was not enough to skew the decision in that form. What? We have a dispute there. Are they, is Will offering an extension of a point in the interest of parity? What a sportsman. You love to see that. Oh, wow. Great effort from all the blue team members we saw there, but it just wasn't enough to string together a coherent return. Ms. Giff with a successful volley there, getting the serve across the net. And Afghans getting up there with a solid block. Can we get a kill from Austin Show? We can. A solid attempt at a dig there, but inevitably uh, falls a little bit short. I mean, I, I really like what we've seen from Austin here, despite the fact that he is on the blue team. Uh, I do really like what we've seen from Austin Show, Mr. Show here, uh, showing that big cannon back there. It's a big old cannon he's got. Take a gander at that. It's a big cannon. Uh-huh. It's a cannon he likes to use. Look at that with a solid back and forth there, but it's going to end in a red team point. That's all right, because frankly, um, I think, and this is my suspicion here, um, they understand the importance of a close game um, in hitting certain uh, milestones in the story that make the payoff bigger, you know? So you can't help but be happy uh, with what you're seeing there. Will Neff really keeping that play alive. God, he's everywhere, isn't he? Will, Will, Will oh. Neff really coming out with a vengeance after not being able to make it to football last week. You hate to see another whiff here, man. You hate to see it. Such good effort, such high flyers on both sides of the court, only to be met with the inevitable screw-up. Eric with a good return. Oh, and Will. It seems as if he's losing a bit of steam. The biscuit's a little less buttered. Everything's just a little less oiled up. As a, he, he lost his wide base there. He lost his wide base and just slipped out right from under him. Well, he's known for the wide base, but let me tell you something. What you really aren't seeing, you know, is, is, is his willingness to, to, you know, put the wide base aside and really stay agile to keep setting up for someone else, you know, really spreading to give other people on his team the option to really stick it. And that's a blue point right over the yeah, net there. A, a bit of a tuck. Yeah, it was a double hit there. Red really looked to be coming back with a vengeance, but we're within two points here. Right here. 
and it looks as if we've got a lot of bandwagoners rallying around the red team at halftime, now swapping allegiances when they see the tides of war turning. All I see there is a bunch of employees saying, we want to keep our jobs. And they know what happens here when push comes to shove and the ball game ends. Yep, that's the disgrace right. will never leave the red team. Not once, not ever. Hold on. It seems as if they're interpreting. It's like Groundhog Day, but every point. Do the people who never come outside step into the sun? It what predicts the next point. And that, by that logic, we should be seeing a blue team point once again. And that is it for blue team taking it home. One Last to two. All they needed was a little bit of allegiance. One to two, not quite a victory yet. We've got a third set, a fourth set now. So really, hold on. Wait a second. We might be going in a best of three format. And we're gonna get a, we're gonna get word here from the from the court itself on the field. Uh, and we'll see if that's in the game or are they going best of five? We're going to find out right quick. You'd love to see him keep fighting, but let me tell you something. If this is where we call the game, um, you know, and I say this figuratively, it's time to get that third yacht. It's time to keep stretching it. Look for assets, keep that stuff liquid, and kids, make sure you put it all on red. Get yourself to an unknown website and uh, eventually, you know, maybe buy a nice little egg that could hatch into a little NFT, you know? Wait. Use promo code uh, Wake the Caster. The NFL, football. What's NFT? That's what I meant. Talking about. I, I, I will let you know, but you can give all these to the winning team right now. Winning team, winning team. Winning team, please. Winning team right here. Winning team, how, how, how did you feel about this, Captain? You know, we had we faced some adversity, Milena, in the first round. And, uh, you know, we stuck together as a team. We played our game. And, uh, you know, the results showed that. Okay. Uh, it was a collaborative effort all across the court. Everybody contributing. Uh, I, I don't know where to, where to start or end. Will Neff, Squeaks, Afghan. Yes. Jelly Peanuts, everybody else. Uh, incredible performance all around. I couldn't have done it without him. Well, you deserve a medal right here. Thank you. Woo! Congratulations to the straightest man alive. Thank you, Thank you very much. Captain. Thank you. I like this as the squeaks. Let's go. We can have a medal for Let's Griff. Let's go. Number one mother. My second win. Number one mother. Jelly. 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 Congratulations. You're amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Squeaks. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, you thank you so much. Appreciate it. Will. Will. MVP. MVP. Yeah. MVP. Give it to Vincenzo. MVP. Give it to our coach. MVP. We couldn't have done it without MVP. our coach. Give me that salsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Caroline. 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 Hi. Woo. You did amazing. Uh, Austin. Austin. Thank you. Wait, no, that's MVP. Don't oh, hold that. MVP. No, 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 don't, hold, no, don't give that away. Don't give that away. MVP. I really like the screaming that Nick did every time he served. Really like that. But I like the hustle and the call outs of the blue team. Yes, Amen. It's very, very hard to figure out who's going to be able to the MVP. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think yep, we're going to yep. run the poll now, and you we guys can poll, just guys. vote for whoever you think did the best. The poll is running right now. Vote for the best player. Please do not lie. We are watching. Mm -hmm. They're watching. They're watching. I'm watching you. <laughs> Who's guessing? Uh, I honestly think Nick is really good. That's our JV hockey. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really paying attention, to be quite honest. Why Nick? I, uh, I saw him use a lot of wrist, and I think that's good. Good wrist. Good but I'm going to be honest, I was more focused on holding up the appropriate signs. So I wasn't really paying attention to the game. But everybody played great. How about you? Caroline. I was like, it's not even Caroline. Caroline. She was already MVP. Oh, fart! Fart. Uh, fart. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Not yeah. Caroline, guys. Uh, Will, the MVP yeah. of today is Squeaks. Thank you for Oh, me. let's go. There you go. Thank you. Oh, hey, this is the right one. This is the right Let's. one. This is Squeaks. Thank you. Squeaks. 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 
Let's go. Thank Scream. you. Oh my God. Come Scream. on. Come on. Scream. Well, I dedicate this Scream. to freedom and love. That's what our team stands for. And let me tell you, I saw freedom and love out of each and every one of these fellas. So I dedicate it to my team. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah. Thank okay. Well, not that much. I'm a dedicated. Well deserved, Squeaks. Thank you so much. Wow. There you go. He's so selfless and handsome. Thank you. So I really needed to hear that. I'm never going to win VIP ever, man. I have to check this. <laughs> You're the I'm VIP ever. I'm never going to win. Do you think Squeaks deserved MVP? What, what we about Squeaks was great, man. Wow. You were, you were awesome, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so nice. I thought hey, you were going to no, shit talk. I was no, about to be like, no. fucking tech tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Squeaks did great, man. Everybody did great. I mean, Will, I mean, Billy Butter also Here fucking killed it, bro. He was on a roll. <laughs> He was no. moral. There was a moral Here leader out there. Go. That's right. It was Look, I, I just want to say I'm happy for Afghans last week, and uh, he deserved it, and I couldn't be happy. <laughs> couldn't be happy for him. Hey, great game, Tech. We got we to pay you, Austin extra. He keeps it was close. out here without trophies. But I, at least, at least you got but you know, no, no, I'm, I, no, I did not deserve the MVP for that one. Last week was a different story, but I'm very happy for Afghans. <laughs> <laughs> very happy Damn for me. Afghans. And you deserve it. You, he deserved it. He deserved it. You can no, you can keep it. It's no, we need that check back it next in. Year. Okay. Okay. Just so okay. You don't want to you. Well, Sorry. thank you guys so much for tuning in here on the court. Uh, we're going to throw it back to Esmond Wake and see you next year. This Bye. is over. It's, we're not. Bye. Woo! Hey, that, 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 that is some whole shit. That is. That, that is some absolute horse shit. What are you talking about? What, what the fuck? Are you fuck, you? fuck this fucking job, man! I am fucking out. Well, yeah, you're out. Yeah, I bet you're out. Oh, you're wake the jester the blue on team. fucking CryptoZoo.com. No, the whole going to fucking little Saint Bart's with none other than Logan Paul. You think I care about you? Listen, you can what? suck my ass as far as I'm concerned. The blue team steals it from the red team. What else is new? Not only that, they stole the damn election from Will Neff. What the hell? S squeeze coming in, stealing the damn election? All right, what is that yeah. dog shit? I, I, I don't know what the I don't know what the fuck to tell you here, man. All right, sure, election fraud, yada yada yada. All I know right now is I'm getting a big old tax cut, baby. All right, I'm flying out. I got a fucking Caribbean vacation to tend to with nothing but a couple of dudes who like to beat the shit out of each other for money. I got the hottest women on and the Eastern Seaboard coming out. All right, I don't want to hear shit from you anymore. All right, I'm talking. I, I, you know, I don't want to hear enough from you. You've been cheering for the blue like team your whole time. God. You've been, you've been wanting the Blues I, to win you, the whole time. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. You never bet against Billy Butter. You never do. I don't know how to tell you. The guy makes everything happen. Sure, Squeaks subverted the legitimacy of an election in real time by stuffing the vote with a bunch of illegitimate bots. Who cares? Who cares? There was literally no parlay on that. No one cared. Yeah, no one cared. You've been gambling on our damn games, ain't you, son? You've been gambling on our damn game. Damn game. I can't even speak. I'm Look, so man. furious. Now, Look, you, man. You, you want to? Asmund Gold's taking a shower because he's hopping in the PJ with me in 20. All right. I don't want to hear anything. You think? Look at that. Look at that guy. He's getting it. He's getting it. He's getting it soapy hey, stop, because he stop knows stop what's waiting for us on the other side. Check it out, guys. I think it's important that we settle in on the real bare bones, the brass tacks of this game, which was that the underdog triumphed once again. It was nothing but the tried and true can-dos of the world, all right? Sure, you might not respect them as much. Sure, they might not get paid the big bucks. Sure, they might not be owners of anything important, but you want to know what they are owners of? Our hearts. They're the underdogs, the can-dos, the average Joes, the cough, the morning cup of coffee, you know? The Duncan boys that's working a, day a, in a and day out. Ass. To Horses ass. That was Bring the us the piece. very best, the Liberators. It, the oh old. yeah, the Liberators. You know what? Squeeze. My team is freedom and love. That's horseshit. We know that. We know damn well the blue team ain't freedom. We know damn hey, team the blue team ain't freedom. I'll run that. Run that through a codex. You can really get to the truth. But what I'll tell you today is that we have bringing us, bringing me, Deborah, in the Haramware building, infinite wealth. None other than our sponsors for the day. First and foremost, we got to thank our big Starforge Systems at StarforgeSystems.com for making it possible for me to, from the very comfort of my own home, put the house down on a bunch of streamers batting a ball back and forth. That's right. Get yours today at StarforgeSystems.com. The Voyager Creative Elite is what's bringing you my winner's voice. What more do we have to offer them, big ass fan? Well, you know what else? You, you want to talk about a last chance? This is the last chance, the last day to get yourself one of them Star Forge game day jerseys. You can get a red, a blue, or a Star Forge green OTK game day jersey. 
This is the last day for pre-orders. Okay, you can go ahead and get you one. Why not two? Why not three? Hell, get one for the whole family. It's real damn easy. OTKNetwork.com. And don't forget to check the message pinned in chat for a big old Razer giveaway. That's right, the very best peripherals to go with your very best PC. What do we have on the docket? Big S fan. You got yourself a Keo Pro, an SVT2 Pro, and a Keylight Chroma. And yes, I pronounced all those correctly. I bet I did. So you got all those available to you from Razer. Giveaways at the top of chat. You can go ahead and win you one. So without further ado, let's focus on a couple of the big things today, S-Fan. All right. We saw a bunch of underdogs. No one believed in. No one from the start. Not even the big G-O-D at Big L-V. All of them said, I don't know who they are. Who, Megalol? I'm not sure they do anything important. And do you want to know what I said? Do you know what they do that's important? They keep the game close. Mm. They fight to the bitter end, and they uh, find within them the power of the team, the power of friendship. You want to know what will never win? Spiking the ball back immediately over and over again into the net, into the faces of your teammates, right into their solar plexus, going for the heart. This is not an armor piercing round. This is a volleyball. This is a sphere. This is a metaphor for the ebb and flow of life. And you really want to know happy. something? Those who see change as the only inevitable are those who triumph. We got the flexible, the willing, and let me tell you something, the high rollers, because I know each and every one of them would have put a big, big old silver dollar down on their name. Absolutely. I'm, I'm talking about no gambling, but I will say this. We definitely saw some elevated gameplay here. I mean, people went and they played to the best of their abilities, despite the fact whether or not you know, MVP or the game or whatever it was was stolen. They did play to the best of their abilities. And I'll go ahead and tell you what right now, OTK Elevated is going to be coming right up just as well. OTK Elevated is a is a, a big show that we're going to have with uh, all them folks who want to do them them streaming things. They can go ahead and apply on the website, thanks to Progressive. And uh, we're going to have a gauntlet-style show from week to week, hopping from channel to channel, a little bit different than what we've done in the past. And there's going to be a prize pool of $50,000, thanks to Progressive and Allied Esports. So it's going to be real good. We're ready to elevate, just like they did today. And let me tell you something, S fan. Mm -hmm. While the couple of eggs may be fried, we still got the steak. The big man, mm. Asmongold, Tectone, and Emaru at the Snake and Eggs podcast. That's right. Is that now? Can we confirm? Is that up? We've got the podcast with Meat Canyon. Has that up on the channel that right is, now? That, that is up today. And every Friday, you're going to get yourself some more steak and eggs. Steak and eggs breakfast. For more photorealistic depictions of your favorite streamers, don't forget to check that out and check out Meat Canyon's episode there to get a real deep dive on how he's able to see the truth of it all. The real lizard person inside of us. Mm -hmm. So I'll Absolutely. tell you what. S-Fan, how are you feeling about today? Good stream for you? You feel good? You feel like you really saw it? I know it I didn't end up in your favor, but I'm willing well, to help out. I'll be honest with you. I, I was I was really unhappy with the results. I was I was incredibly unhappy with the results of what we saw. I mean, I thought Red was going to take it home, and uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. I mean, Tectone came out, and he, I think Tectone played a phenomenal, phenomenal first set, and really, I thought he was going to be the X factor here, but unfortunately, it was not enough to uh, uh, to fix the the uh, flawed game planning of the red team going in and playing in each other's zones and causing problems for each other so that, that's really what uh what really came down to i think i think the game plan really fell apart in the next two sets so now they got to find a way to you know game's over send this thing home i think someone's got to drive squeaks home i don't know who's it gonna be but uh it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be a good one she's gonna keep the kids she's gonna keep the kids we're free we're free we're free and 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 the by the kids I mean um you know and and she I mean I mean Caroline Killer Kwan who really had a lot of a lot of good volleys is uh you know keeping the kids hearts you know really inspiring them to fight oh, for the absolutely. next play I mean, and uh, really set up the their kids. friends for success um because that's what's uh that's uh yeah <laughs> who do I fucking care uh that's yeah yeah you know it's what? all about the but, kids uh, at the end of the day I mean that's yeah the thing. that's why we do it at home go ahead and learn something to get inspired I hope everybody was inspired today. And you want to know what? Not. I am inspired to uh, do a little bit of globe trotting, a little soul search, and really see who I am outside of this, uh, you know, sad veneer of, um, you know, high stakes stimulus and, um, you know, uh, so, you know, when when you start to come down, you start to question what it all means sometimes, you know. Okay. What you're wait. doing it for? 
okay, son. I, I think I just got to juice up, man. I just got to juice up. Um, I think that um, I think that uh, I think that that um, that might uh, that might um, that I might be off. That's all we need, man. I don't Yo, know. Wait, go in to get go in take a time out there. Me? Wait, go in and take yourself a time out there. Just oh. give yourself five. I'll go in and wrap this thing up. Fellas at home, <laughs> thank y'all for joining us. Thank y'all for joining us this week. I mean, with, for the finale of OTK Game Day, uh, we really cleaned up here today, as you can see. I mean, it was uh, it was a phenomenal day. Another uh, another great opportunity for us with uh, with volleyball this week. Red team, blue team wins again, unfortunately, but uh, you know we went up, cleaned up, and now we're gonna call it today. So thank y'all so much, and uh, we'll see y'all next season. Get it twisted, team. Thank you for everything. Thank you for a great uh, a great four games and. Um... You know, I mean, do you want the last word, S-Fan? I didn't mean to take that from you. Yep.